on that branch are all wet. Oh, poor birdies. My furry fellows, we can't just leave them out there. Please, let's bring them inside our clubhouse. <laughs> uh -huh. Hi, birdies. You're cold, aren't you? My friends, the Buffy Cats and I, decided to invite you inside our clubhouse, so you'll be warm. <laughs> Let's get out of this awful rain. Buffy Cats, the birdies are all wet. I'm afraid they might catch a cold. Well, Pilu, then let's dry them off. This will get it done super quick. They're all dry now. So cute. It looks like you just got back from the hairdresser. Let's go, Buffy Cats. Granny's birthday can't wait. <laughs> Hey! I'm sorry, little birdies, but uh, before touching anything, please ask first. And whatever you do, don't touch my guitar! Let it go! <laughs> My furry fellows, why won't you stop spinning? The guitar's gone to your head, Lampo. Have some of my treats. You'll feel better in no time. Mm, they look so delicious. <laughs> hey, birdies, calm down. My bad. <laughs> They've eaten all the treats. Woe is me. These birdies can't keep still for a second. Yeah, this is pretty bad. We have to put the party together, but we can't leave them alone. Why not, milady? We just need a touch of sweetness. Dear birds, can you please be good for your friend Pilu? <gasps> See, my furry fellows, you can get anything with sweetness. <laughs> You're right, Pilu. Looks like the birds have calmed down for now. Come on, Buffy Cats. Let's get to work and decorate the room. What possum decorations? Let's start with the flags. Woo! <laughs> oh, oh, my whiskers! <laughs> We gotta stop them! But how do we do that, Lampo? Um... Maybe I didn't have the sweetness turned high enough? Birdies, if you're gonna be guests in someone's house, you have to be nice and polite. <laughs> nope, they can't think about anything but playing. Playing, huh, Lampo? That gives me a Buffy brainstorm. <gasps> Show them how much fun we're having setting up the party. Good idea, my lady. Then the birdies will lend us a paw. Buffy cats, look! Putting up these little flags is a possum mm. game. Looks like it worked. The birdies stopped. Let's keep playing, Buffy cats. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my lady. This game is super possum. Birdies, want to play with us? Ugh. <sighs> 
are, Pilu. And now, Buffy Cats, we've come to the most important thing. The birthday cake! <gasps> it's super late! Granny will be here soon! It's over. We'll never be done in time. There'd need to be at least ten of us. Hey, what are the birdies doing? As I live and meow, the, the birdies, birdies are, are making, making the cake! cake. Possum, they want to help! If we team up, we can do it! Come on, Buffy Cats, let's go! Knead the dough. Mix it up! <laughs> Make way! Incoming strawberries! <laughs> Granny Pina is already here! Kitties, Granny Sock! Ha! Uh, Granny Pina is coming inside! But the cake isn't ready yet. Don't worry, Pilu. I'll distract Granny so you can finish the cake. What bad weather today. Meow. 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 Luckily, I'm home with my kitties. Hello, lady. Meow. Meow. Some more cuddles, little sweetie. Milady, you really want to play today. Oh? Milady, where are you? Hmm. Where are my kitties? <laughs> How strange. It's so quiet. What happened to my sitting room? Oh, <laughs> kitties, aren't you funny? Why are you wearing those hats? Meow. Meow. Oh, here's another one. I suppose I'll wear one, too. <laughs> What's this? A cake? How beautiful. But, but, but what are we celebrating? Meow. 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 Oh, of course, kitties. You're right. Today is my birthday. I had totally forgotten. Buffy mission accomplished, Buffy cats. All thanks to the little birdies. And now, kitties, <laughs> time to taste this wonderful cake. I take it back. Oh, you liked the cake. You can come back on my next birthday, birdies. Where did it go? Oh, oh no! <laughs> 
Did it walk away on its own? I must find the egg before it hatches. I'll ask the Buffy Cats for help. Don't worry, Robin. We'll find your baby. Okay, we better move out right away, my furry fellows. Of course, but first, we'll need a little energy boost. <laughs> <laughs> Target keeps moving around. That just means we'll have to move faster. Somehow. But my lady, how? <gasps> I've got a Buffy brainstorm. We just gotta think like a hatchling. Meatball, where would you go if you were a little bird? Hmm. To find a snack. Mm -mm. If I were a baby bird, I'd go to the park. <gasps> yes, Pilu. He could have gone to play at the park. There. Let's go.
baby isn't at the park, Robin. But then where can it be? If only your whiskers power was still working, Lampo. Wait, now my whiskers are telling us that... <laughs> the baby stopped moving! <laughs> <laughs> to be the sound of my baby's chirping. Where, Robin? At, At the, the farm. farm. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy? <gasps> Mommy! Anyway, sowing seeds is pretty easy, and it's so quiet here. <laughs> um, Lulu, maybe it's better not to feed him? But he's just one bird, and he's so cute! <laughs> oh, my meatballs! They're eating all the seeds! Oh, what do we do now? <laughs> Corny, unfortunately, the birds ate all the seeds. Yeah, it always happens to me, too. Birds eat seeds, and I don't know a good way to keep them away. I've got a Buffy brainstorm. Birds are afraid of scarecrows. Buffy cats, let's build one using our creative recycling. Hmm. I never thought of that before, but it's gonna be a snap. The farm is full of old objects that can be recycled. Okay, let's try. <laughs> uh, hurry up before they come back. They're coming! Oh, no! Everyone, hi! Uh. It's working! <gasps> the scarecrow keeps the birds away! Yes! The birds won't eat the seeds ever again! We did it! Hooray! <laughs> if you want cornbread, you have to grind the corn kernels with one of these millstones. <laughs> To grind the kernels, you have to turn the millstones. That's how you make flour. Ready, Pilu? No, Corny, just bored. It's kind of boring to grind the corn. It may seem boring, but with the right attitude, anything can become a game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. There's got to be some way to make grinding corn fun. <laughs> oh, no! The birds have come to eat the corn. Shoo! Shoo! This corn ain't for you, birdies! Buffy brainstorm! 
Pretend the millstone is a merry-go-round. Let's play corny-go-round. Mm. Like your game so much. But I sure did. Wasn't it possible? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, flowers yeah. coming out. <laughs> Good job, kids. When we have all the ingredients, I'll go knead this corn flour and bake the bread in the oven. So what do we do next? Uh -huh. We go make the butter. Bucky, come with me. It'll be simple. <laughs> First, put the milk in this canister. Be careful not to spill. Bucky, now you have to shake it. That will turn the milk into butter. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. The milk isn't butter yet. <laughs> It sounded so easy. I know, Jenny. Making butter is boring, too. Nothing is boring on the farm, Pilu. You just need the right attitude. Mimi's right. <laughs> Look, the birds want milk. We can challenge them to a game of butter rugby. We'll use the milk canister as a ball. It'll be fun. <sighs> It off. <laughs> the fearsome bird team is trying to steal the milk from the famous rugby player, Jimmy! <laughs> but the possum champion, Pilu, gets the pass without a moment to spare. <laughs> and passes to Bucky! <gasps> Team has taken possession of the milk. <laughs> the brave rugby champ Bucky intercepts the pass. <gasps> Look! Congratulations, Cubs! The milk has become butter. We're the farm champions! <laughs> And now for the final ingredient. Honey! <laughs> right. Honey can be found in this special bee's nest, the hive. Once I put these spouts in the holes, honey will start to come out. Wait and collect the honey drop by drop in your jars. <laughs> But this is gonna take forever. And it'll be boring. But you can make it fun, Ginny. Remember, on the farm, nothing is boring. You just need... The right attitude. I've got an idea. If I give the hive some spin, the honey will come out faster. And catching it on the fly is more fun. Awesome idea, Ginny. <laughs> oh, the birds are here. They want honey. No problem. We'll challenge them to a game of catch the honey. <laughs> <laughs>
Bonnie just holding this jar. So this jar will bring it to me. A long shot! Collected all the honey. <laughs> yes, we won. Now that we've got all the ingredients, we can go and use them for snack time. Jungle is saying we should get to the other side, but how will we ever do that? <laughs> He wants to eat that acorn. No, he doesn't. What's he up to? <coughs> he catapulted the acorn in the tree. <coughs> I got it! Jungle made a catapult! <coughs> We can just catapult ourselves to the other side. Let's each grab a rock, too. <laughs> now let's all hop on the catapult. <laughs> okay, let's toss our rocks on the other end of the branch at the same time. <laughs> Catapult is totally ruined. <laughs> I think Jungle said he'll find another way around. But we can't wait for him. Tata's in danger. Jungle taught us how to handle ourselves in the wilderness. We can do this on our own. Let's go save Tata! <laughs> Hello, little birds. You are so cute. Oh, sure. Hey, what are you doing? Sure. I don't want birds on my fence. Buffy cats, all thanks to the little birdies. Hello, little hope. <laughs> Hi. I'd like to ask Lampo for a favor. I'm sorry, Lola. Lampo isn't here. So, do you know where he went? No, unfortunately. But why do you need him, Lola? I lost my whisker twister. Lampo would have found it in no time. Now I'll have to go look for it. But I can't leave Hope alone. If you want, we can take care of her. You'd really do that? Won't it be too much trouble? <laughs> we'll be super kitty sitters. Thank you so much, Buffy Cats. Bye bye, Hope. <laughs> okay, what now? Where do we start? I don't know, Meatball. What do you think a kitten would want? <laughs> oh, to nap. I'm going to sing her the kitty lullaby I used to put my dog Kelly to night night. <laughs> Sleep, little kitten, sleep, little one. Have a good nap and dream of good dreams. Like dreamy dream milk and dreamy dream cream. Your nose is sweet and so little too. Sleep, little kitty, sleep with Pilu. Sleep, little kitty, dream of a star. Sleep, little kitty. It is so far. Pilu, this lullaby is too strong. Okay, my 
furry fellows. The kitty lullaby did not work. <laughs> if Hope isn't sleepy, I'm sure she'll be hungry. <laughs> I cooked up the perfect meal for Hope. Maybe you don't know, but I'm a five-star cat treat <gasps> chef. <gasps> See? She uh, likes it! Uh, <laughs> Hope isn't sleepy or hungry. That can only mean one thing. Time to change a diaper. <laughs> you sure, m'lady? Everybody knows that's super dangerous. Don't worry. I know what to do. Buffy cats, let's get this diaper operation started. <laughs> See? It wasn't so dangerous. All you have to do is handle the diaper carefully. <gasps> what a terrible smell! <laughs> My kitty sitter friends, I've got no Cat. She always knows what to do with little ones. Looking after a kitten like Hope is easier than you can imagine, Buffy Cats. Are you serious, <laughs> Mimi? Of course, Meatball. All you have to do is give Hope a game that keeps her busy. Look, Hope. With this spoon, you have to take the mousy to his little house. It's your turn now, Hope. Oh, mousy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mimi, you're possum. Thank you. It's my pleasure, Pilu. But I must go now. Other little ones might need me. Hope will have lots of fun, and you'll be perfect kitty sitters. All right, Puffy Cats. Let's take this chance to tidy up the game room so Hope can play safely. Meatball, you tidy up the toys. <laughs> Here is a good place for these. <gasps> what do I see? Wait for me! Just a minute. Come on! Come over here, little hope! Time to use my special cat treat grabber fishing rod. It never misses a shot. Cream, I am very pleased to present to you my latest masterpiece entitled An Ice Cream Cone. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get down and go after her. Hurry! 
ready. Uh, hurry? <laughs> sure thing. Dear, we should get going. One more time, Mommy. Uh. <laughs> hmm? Buffy Cats, where are you? Come on, let's play together. Maybe you're behind the tree? <laughs> where did you hide? Don't move a single whisker. This hiding place won't be safe for long. <laughs> I'm really hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. Meatballs? That means danger. Maybe Isata has found us. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> A kitten with a pedigree like yours belongs in a pet store. And you're going to make me a lot of money. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Birdie the cat catcher! He took my little Hope! Hello, Hope. I'm Izata. Nice to meet you. Don't be sad. The Buffy cats are coming to rescue you. Let's go in. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I'll catch up! <laughs> Here we go! Hope, we've come to the rescue! Good job, kittens! Free her right now! Look, these kittens are huh? so cute! Oh, I wish I could adopt one. Have you already decided which of these four, uh, five kittens you're gonna take home with you? <laughs> Why choose one when I can have them all? Uh, Bye-bye, oh. mister. Uh -huh. We did it, Buffy Cats! Buffy mission accomplished! Now, after all that exercise, I need a nap, too. <sighs> Sleep tight, Kelly. <sighs> I didn't know Kelly could cry. Either you turned into a kitten, or I took the wrong stroller. Please, kitty, don't cry. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a clown. Not working. But I gotta find a way to calm her down. Twinkle, twinkle, little kitty. Sleep and you'll be really pretty. I've got a Buffy brainstorm. I'll show her my toys from when I was a baby. Look, you like it? In here. See anything you like? What did you take, kitty? That pacifier was a gift. But I'd already outgrown them, and I never used it. What are you doing? You're too old for pacifiers. Come on, give my pacifier back. It's mine. If this is the only thing that will stop you crying, you can have it. <laughs> but just until I find your mommy. I better find this kitten's mommy as soon as possible. Come on! Uh, Police oh. cat! Hello, Lola. Is something wrong? The uh. baby, Hope, is gone. And in her place I found this doll! Uh. I'll help you find her. She might have found a way home. Let's start there. <laughs> hey, Pilu. What are you doing here? Hi, Milky. Hi, 
Shock. I'm looking for this kitten's mommy. She's so cute. Hey, what are you doing with this pacifier? You're a big girl. Mm -hmm. She's a beautiful doll. Dr. Fisby, would you be so kind as to give Kelly a checkup? Oh, of course, Pilu. I always carry a thermometer with me. Let's see if she has a fever. Hmm. A healthy temperature. Oh. Your baby is absolutely fine. And she's not even using a pacifier. She's very grown up. Thank you, Dr. Fisby. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Pilu. Bye, Kelly. There's cream! I really want an ice cream. Hey. Wait for me here and be good. Here's your ice scone, Pilu. Thanks, cream! <laughs> here we go, Hope. Aren't you happy to be at the park? Hope, my love. You're a big girl now and big girls don't use pacifiers. <laughs> Right, fine. But sooner or later, you'll have to give it up. Be good. This kitty treat flavor is possum. Let's go back home, Kelly. Hi, Cream. Can I have an ice cream? Here you are, Lola. Thank you. Bye, Cream. Good thing Hope didn't wake up. <gasps> Wait. Where's Hope? What a nice walk we had, right, Kelly? <laughs> oh, my kitty! You don't want a pacifier anymore? No, Nola. Hope is a big kitty and doesn't need it anymore. Isn't that right, Hope? <gasps> this is fantastic news! Very good, Hope. Pilu! Of course. Pilu has been very good, too. You're a perfect vice mommy. Thanks for taking her home. Pilu and Hope, besties forever. And now I'll take Kelly home, too. Bye, Cop. Bye, Lola. Bye-bye, Hope. Bye, Pilu. Bye, Pilu. And thanks again. Hey, Pilu. Where have you been? My furry fellows. Uh, it was a possum day for Kelly and me. But this is Hope's pacifier. We don't need it anymore. I'll dedicate my performance to the best kitty sitters in the world. I know that Hope had a safe and quiet day with you. Hey. Where's Hope? Maybe she's still trying to get the ball inside that box. But the box is at our house. Oh, oh no. no. <sighs> what are you looking at the calendar for, Meatball? Oh, oh, tomorrow is International Cat Treat Day, Lampo. But 
It's also Izato's birthday! Izato's birthday? Yes! Buffy Cats, we need to throw her a possum party! Yeah! A surprise party! Izato won't know a thing till the last moment. We'll invite all our furry fellows! They won't know a thing till the last moment either. That way, we'll be sure nothing will spoil the surprise! Hey, my furry fellows! What are you doing with those balloons? Uh, balloons? <laughs> what balloons? <laughs> the ones behind your back, m'lady. Uh, those aren't balloons, Izata. They're pool floats. Uh, okay. Can I come to the clubhouse and play with you? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, no, we can't go in there right now. Uh, yeah, the clubhouse is flooded. <laughs> yep. A uh, pipe broke. <laughs> we'll need a big pink ship to get over all that water. Pink? Thanks to the color of our pink ship, we can get over that tidal wave, sailors. Right you are, Captain Pilu. Uh, we better go call Wrench. He's the right cat to fix that pipe. All right, Buffy Cats. See you later, Izata. Let me know when everything is okay again. Izata almost caught us. Time to go get her a gift. A gift? I better follow the Buffy Cats. I want to find out what they're up to. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ambrosio. Could you give us some advice on a gift? Of course. Who is it for? Let's not tell him that it's for Isota. Let me handle this. Granny Pina and Pepina are throwing a party for their old school teacher. Wow! Granny Pina's teacher must be getting on in years. Congratulations on your 404 years, Miss Teacher! You don't look a day over 800! I'm sure she's gonna love this sweatshirt. You can see for yourself, Ambrosio. You're invited to the party. But remember, shh, it's a surprise. Mm hmm Hey there, Buffy Cats. What are you doing around here? Oh, we need a chocolate cake for a party, Cream. No problem. What kind of party is it? It's for a traditional Antarctic penguin jamboree. Sounds like it's gonna be a very cold party. Of course! Oh, and you're invited, Cream. Just be uh. sure to wear a warm coat. And hey, don't tell anyone. It's a surprise party. Surprise party? Well, that's interesting. <laughs> hey there, my furry fellows. Did you ask Wrench to fix your pipe? Um, oh, uh, actually, no, Izata. Wrench uh, can't get in there, at least until we get that whale out of the clubhouse. <laughs> A whale? Uh, yeah, she must have come in through the pipes. <laughs> we'll take care of it and get her back to sea. Okay, my furry fellows. Call me when everything's back to normal. <sighs> Hurry, Buffy huh? Cats! Let's bring in the cake and the gift before Izata suspects something. Uh-huh. So that's what those Buffy losers are up to. A party for Izata. And I'm gonna ruin it. <laughs> Finally, it's the day of the party. Huh? What happened? Everything's gone. Even the gift and the cake. Who could have done such a terrible thing? And to the cake of all things. Don't worry, Buffy Cats. The power of my whiskers will help us find everything. <laughs> huh? Huh? My whiskers are telling us all of our things are at the airport. Come on, Buffy Cats. <gasps> <laughs> oh, they're in that plane! 
We gotta get it before it takes off! Come on, lady, speed up! No! What now? What can we do? What a catastrophe! We have no cake, and we're out of time to set up the party! So I was early? Cosmo! I was in the plane waiting for the alien cat party to start, but there was no party. Huh? <laughs> then suddenly Boss showed up. Boss? Yeah, and he left all these things on the plane. He didn't notice me, and I heard him say, Buffy cats, come and get them if you can. Uh, so I left to bring them back to you. Huh. Thanks, Cosmo. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh -huh. All set. Let's go call Izata and show her our surprise. Huh? Huh? Whoa. Hey there, my furry fellows. I was waiting for you. Huh? Uh, what's up, Izata? My friends are throwing me a birthday party. I have to go. I'll see you later. Uh, uh, all this hustle and bustle for nothing. It's Izata's birthday. She decides which party to go to. Okay, let's go take down the garland. Ah, uh, who turned off the light? Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> uh, Izata! Our furry fellows! We figured you were throwing a party, and we decided to surprise you instead. What about the party with your friends? I made it up so you wouldn't suspect anything. Sorry I told a little white lie. Uh, we owe you an apology too, Izata. And to all of you too. Oh. <laughs> so we told a few little white lies, but for a good cause. We wanted a real surprise party for Izata. And now it turned out to be a double surprise party. Thank you so much, my furry fellows. You're awesome. And now we can start the party. Happy birthday! Wow, it's possum! Now make a wish. <sighs> Done. This is the best birthday ever. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Granny Pina. Izata, you're here. Oh. A human? So Granny Pina did all this just for a human. <laughs> yeah, Lampo. And she called her little kitty. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, Granny, thanks for inviting me. It will be a special weekend. Izata, these are my keys. Oh, they're so sweet. Hi, kitties. They are Lampo, Milady, Meatball, and Tender Little Pilu. I don't think they like me, Granny. Oh, no, Izata. They're very shy and very lazy. Now, let's get you settled in your room. <laughs> this is far worse than another cat. Yeah, Lampo, we can't compete with a human, especially a granddaughter. <laughs> We're more like a hurricane. A nice hurricane, anyway. You know what, Buffy Cats? Izata can stay here as long as she wants to. We'll just hang out here in our clubhouse. Oh, wow. Huh? This place is wonderful! <laughs> She's good at drums! <laughs> but she's totally out of control, Pilu! Wow! An electric guitar! We'll be here less soon. This is a catastrophe. Buffy cats, we have to find a way to ward off this human. Any ideas? What do you mean by ward off? I mean keep us safe from. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to play with 
protect you. Just be your friend. She understands us! <laughs> Did I say something wrong? Hello there, Buffy Cats. Izata! Hey, Izata! We're getting ready to welcome... Granny Pina just came back from Japan. And her suitcase is too heavy. Lend me a paw, please. <laughs> Hi, Granny. Oh, that's so kind of you, Izata. But don't worry about the suitcase. <laughs> I got it, Granny. Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> Granny's going to take a nap now. Then I'll make a nice lunch for everyone. <laughs> we can help, Izata. <laughs> <laughs> What's a sweater doing out of the suitcase? We better take it inside, my lady. Wait, that's... Huh? <laughs> the sweater is alive! <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry if I scared you. My name is Sushi. Almost perfect. But something's missing. That's how they serve sushi in Tokyo's best restaurants. Kitties! Izata! Sushi! Where are you, my darlings? Mmm, what a nice smell. Is it coming from the kitchen? Granny Pina is coming. Take your places. Hi, Granny. <laughs> Izata, dear, what are you doing in the kitchen? I have a super surprise for you. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We have a super surprise for you, Granny. Sushi? Oh, that's so sweet. You brought a taste of Japan right to my house. Mm. Mm. Delicious. You are a really good cook, Izata. They deserve the credit, too. Sushi came up with the idea. <coughs> Lampo, Milady, Pilu, and Meatball went into town and got all the ingredients. <coughs> and then we all cooked together. <laughs> it sounds like you had some very special helpers. Time to eat the sushi. <laughs> Eating sushi is hard. Not for me, Lampo. Meatball, you're great at eating sushi. No, I'm great at eating anything. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. Winston is helping that lady Come cross on. the street. If you elect me, not only will you have a uh, mayor with a perfect smile, uh, but you'll also be free of all cats forever. Mm. <laughs> no, he's still a bad guy. Madam, don't listen to this man. He's always telling lies. Hmm? <laughs> oh, oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Buffy Cats, if Winston wins the election, it's going to be a cat catastrophe for you. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Vote Winston! Look at the polls! I am the favorite! Soon I will become your charming uh, mayor! Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to build a really high wall. We'll get rid of cats forever. <laughs> Look, the cats are here. I will get rid of them because they are bad. Cats are not bad. They just need a little food and lots of cuddles. Cats are cute and sweet. Everyone knows it. Yeah. Izata, if Winston becomes mayor, he'll build a super high wall that'll keep us out of town. Lampo, here's an idea. Go around town doing good deeds. You'll just need some energy from these. Yeah. <laughs> Granny Pina's noodles! <laughs> the secret's in the noodles of Granny Pina. A friend of superpower, a spectrum and reliever. You eat them hot. Oh, 
bedtime, not pillow fight time. You're right, Izata. But we're not sleepy. You know, kitties, there's a foolproof way to fall asleep. It's called a bedtime story. How about Puss in Boots? Yeah! yeah! <sighs> Long live the night of Ketabas. Ah, what a possum fairy tale. Gas finally became a hero with lots of furry fellows. Yes, Pilu, but Izata is sleeping. Did we dream the whole thing? No, my lady. Everyone lived happily ever after. Thanks to Puss in Boots. Winston lost the election! No more anti-cat wall! And there's more possum news! A new holiday, Stray Cat Day, will be celebrated right at Winston's villa. As a punishment, Winston, Brutus, and Bertie will have to look after all the cats in town. A swap meet? Mm -hmm. What's that? This is my stuff. You can take anything you want. <gasps> Seriously? Of course. But you have to swap it with something of yours. This bag is really nice. Your doll is very nice, too. Then, then let's, let's swap, swap them. them. Hey, Buffy Cats, are you done playing? We're done, Izata, because we're out of ideas. What games can we play with a tire, other than yarn hoops? Buffy Cats, why don't you swap your tire for a new game? You see, I just swapped my bag for the stall. That's a great Buffy brainstorm, Izota. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll have, have a cat, cat swap. swap. <laughs> <sighs> we played so much, Buffy Cats. You're right, Pilu. Now we need a good nap. Ah, yeah, a good nap. Kitties, look, my granddaughter Isata has come to visit. Hello, kitties. I brought the Possum Book of World Records. Sit with me, Granny. Let's look at these cat world records together. Oh, all right, Isata. I love everything about cats. <gasps> look. These kittens made the biggest ball of wool when they were playing with string. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, look, Izata. This kitten lives on the highest mountain in the world. Do you see that, kitties? <coughs> and these kittens made the tallest hamburger in the world. Yum! Granny, I'm hungry. I'd really like to have a hamburger like this one. I don't think I have the ingredients to make a hamburger, Izata. But we can use the phone to order one. Let's call! Hello? Fast food delivery? Can you hear me? Ugh! What's with this interference? Hello? I'd like to order a hamburger for my granddaughter, Isata. Granny Pina must have confused the walkie-talkie with the phone again. Hello, fast food delivery. Hey, can you hear me? Stop talking to me! Oh, perfect. Thank you. Very kind of you. I ordered a hamburger. Come now, Izalta. Let's go wait for the delivery person. <clears throat> Enjoy the book, Buffy Cats. Buffy Cats, let's play Cat and Seek. Ready? Come on, you can hide. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times seven is 42. Plus two makes 44. Ready or not, here I come. Aha! That bonbon looks familiar. Meepo, I found you! Are you hurt, Meepo? Uh, no, Izata. I always have a soft landing. <laughs> Meepo has a rear airbag. <laughs> <laughs> what a catastrophe! Huh? My tooth is wiggly. What do I do? 
You can ask my cat for help. Mimi is a doctor for kittens. She can definitely help with your teeth. I guess I'll be fixing this light on my own then. Oh. Don't worry, Meatball. Milady and I will lend you a paw. Bye-bye, Buffy Cats. Bye, Zata. See you later. Bye. <laughs> my special guest is coming soon. Should I serve apricot filling or vanilla? Who do you think Granny Peen is talking about? I would eat both. No, maybe neither of them. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yummy. My little kitty is going to love cupcakes. <laughs> little kitty? Uh, cupcakes? Buffy Cats, Granny Pina wants to take in another cat. We have to make sure she doesn't forget ah. us. <laughs> Oh, no time for tummy rubs now. My little one will be here any second. <laughs> Black currant. Oh, these cupcakes were a waste of time. <laughs> I think it's delicious. I'll cook something else for Isata. Who's Isata? Hi, Granny Pina. Isata, you're here. Oh. <laughs> Are you so Granny Peanut did all this just for a human. <laughs> yeah, Lampo. And she called her Little Kitty. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, Granny, thanks for inviting me. It will be a special weekend. Isata, these are my kitties. Oh, they're so sweet. Hi, kitties. They are Lampo, Milady, Meatball, and Tender Little Pilu. <laughs> Buffy Cats, where are you? Come on, let's play together. Maybe you're behind the tree? <sighs> where did you hide? Don't move a single whisker. This hiding place won't be safe for long. You know, I'm really hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. Meatball? That means danger. Maybe Isata has found us. <laughs> Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> a kitten with a pedigree like yours belongs in a pet store, and you're going to make me a lot of money. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> He took my little hope! Lola, he's going too fast for us to catch him! It's too late! Huh? Oh. Oh. It's never too late to save a kitten! Oh. She, she, she! Yes, she can talk to cats. Isata, where did you find that bike? Granny gave it to me. Hop in. We'll stop that kitten napper. <laughs> <laughs> Meatball, what's that? I brought a little snack. You'll take it to go. <laughs> Which way did the cat catcher go? <laughs> Hello, kitties. Did you see the cat catcher's van drive oh. by? Sure, they went around that corner. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe this catnip ice cream has a strange side effect. I thought I was talking to a human. You were, Cosmo. Ah! At least I didn't see a dog meowing. Uh -oh. <laughs> cream, can I have a catnip ice cream cone? So what now? Where do I go? There's no one to ask for directions. Hmm. Huh? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Are telling us Birdie went that way. Lampo, why didn't you tell me about your whiskers power before? The shop is closed. There might be a way in from the roof. <laughs> Hello, Hope. I'm Izat. 
Santa. Nice to meet you. Don't be sad. The Buffy Cats are coming to rescue you. Let's go in. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I'll catch up! <laughs> Here we go! Hope, we've come to the rescue. Good job, kittens. Free her right now. Look, these kittens are huh? so cute. Oh, I wish I could adopt one. Have you already decided which of these four, uh, five kittens you're going to take home with you? <laughs> Why well, choose one when I can have them all? Uh, uh. Bye-bye, mister. Uh huh? We did it, Buffy Cats. Buffy mission accomplished. <sighs> Hey, this can't be right. I've already captured that kitten. You know what? I'm still hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. Huh? Oh, no. Birdie's chasing us. I can't go any faster than this. <laughs> Yes, m'lady, but I'm too tired to make it. Time for a snack with <laughs> Granny Pino's noodles. Good thing I took them with me. Pop the secrets in the noodles. Oh. Oh. to go to the gym anymore. Meatball, you've never been to the gym. Jumping on this trampoline is the best. Yeah! Buffy Cats, did you start playing without me? <laughs> Come on, jump with me. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, the Pinky Pie! to listen to the trumpeting elephants than those three. I just love the pinky paws. I even got them a present. Three cans of their favorite food. <laughs> Fly to the pinky paws, little balloon. <laughs> Fish pate, not too salty. We love it. Thank, Thank you, Pilu. You're simply 
Pilu, huh? I'm feeling a bit peckish. Help yourself, Meatball. Huh? <laughs> 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 You can wait for me at the finish line. Are you sure you can get there? <laughs> <laughs> you need to work harder. Don't you know the snowball will get heavier and heavier as you climb? <laughs> She's right. <laughs> Did you know that Lampo listens to your songs all huh? the time? Really? Let's, Let's do, do another, another one ju just for him. But it's bent. Can you really hear? <laughs> yes! But I'm kind of in the middle of a race right now. The, the Pinkie Pie! <laughs> Cherry, Lolly, Betty. Yes. Hmm. What do you think of your fans, Pinkie Pie? You're all beautiful! Now, Pilu, our stars will hang out at your house today. Hello, kitty cat. Will you help us prep for tonight's concert? Of course I'll help, and my furry fellows too. Cherry called me kitty cat. So exciting. <laughs> your car awaits to take you to our house. Milady, could you drive the Pinkie Paws home, please? Of course, Pilu. Start the propeller, Meatball. I can't get the propeller going. We need a push. Get in the car. I'll handle this. <laughs> oh, such a gentle cat. Here's a ticket for tonight's concert. First row. Wow. Did you see how generous they are? My whiskers are over the moon! An entire day with Cherry, Lolly, and Betty! I'm happy for you, <laughs> Pilu. And we'll do our best to make them feel welcome. This is our clubhouse. Do you like our beds? Are they comfy? <laughs> These beds are beautiful! Forget it. I'm going to win. Oh, we'll see, boss. From the mountain, Lambo and Boss are bungee jumping. It's the second event, and it's very exciting. But what are you doing? You jumped without a bungee cord. <laughs> we are perfectly safe. Are you sure you are? Uh, eyes front, and watch your tails. What is she talking about? <laughs> <laughs> You hear the sound of competitors falling with their bonbons on the ground. Boink, boink, ouch. Oh. Boink, boink, ouch. They're good. They can't stop bouncing on. Keep your eyes front or you'll smack your bonbon. Oh. Yeah! Whoa. And now we're ready to prep for our concert. Great! We're actually a band. If you want, we can play for you. Hmm. So, you play on this wreck? Oh? This is the Buffy Cat stage. Do you like it? Too weird. Too odd. Too plain. Oh. It's made out of reused stuff, thanks to our creative recycling. I'm hungry. Huh? I need to eat something. Right. How about some nice cat treats? <laughs> Follow us! <laughs> super tasty for super energy. Ugh. Ah! Oh. Maybe later. We'd rather have something else now. Uh, ow! No problem. 
You'd prefer some not-too-salty fish pâté, wouldn't you? Mmm! Pâté is beautiful! Yeah! Hello, Pinkie Paws. We're <laughs> big fans of yours. Oh. <laughs> you fans are beautiful. Yeah. I'm the luckiest cat in the world. Stellar. If a sight is so sweet, it will knock you off your feet. <laughs> so many fans, but still no pate. Oh, let's see if we can find the chef cat. Ooh. Hi, Marina! Here I am! I made some good paella for the pinky paws. The pinky paws would like some not too salty fish uh. pate. Okay. So what do we do with this then? Huh? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Here's your pate, girls. Not too salty. Do you like it? No! Too bland. Wow. No problem. Here's your dessert. Cotton candy. Hope you like it. No! It's too sweet. Ah. Oh, no problem. You know, now I want oh. some ice cream. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. hmm. Let's hope they like ice cream. <laughs> Cream's desserts have got you covered. It's time to rehearse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
to have one of my own. Sorry, I didn't find anything. Huh? Surprise! <gasps> Happy birthday, dear Pilu. Happy birthday to you. It'll take a little work. Yeah. <laughs> we'll need wow. these carrots for the final leg <laughs> of the scooter race. Wow, Pilu, that was a possum stunt. Of course, Lampo. Hmm. I think I'm ready for the race. Ooh, finally something interesting. A race is a great time to play a prank. <laughs> Good luck, Pilu. We'll be waiting here for the final leg of the race. Yeah. Welcome to our annual scooter race for kittens. And say hello to our little racers, Scribbly, <laughs> Baby Pie, <laughs> Kilo. <laughs> now that the kittens are all here, the race can begin. Wait, <laughs> I'm coming too. Uh, hello, Terry. But. You're not a kitten. Yes, I am, Gabby. I can meow like kittens. Meow. I wash like kittens. And I can make sweet eyes like kittens. Of course. You can join the other kittens, little Terry. Yay! Terry the kitty together with all the kitties! Dear kitties, your first challenge is to twirl elegantly from one ramp to another. The first to go will be Pilu! <laughs> A truly refined stunt! Congratulations, Pilu! Scribbly, your turn now! I came to the race to meet new friends, but I don't know if I can handle challenges like this. Don't worry, Scribbly. If you need help, I'll lend you a paw. Thanks, Terry. You're a good friend. No! Oh. Ah! Oh. No! A perfect stunt! Well done, Scribbly. And now it's up to. Uh -huh. Where's Terry? For a super jump, you need a super running start! Make way! Great, Terry! That stunt of yours was truly dizzying! Make way! Oh, wait! Baby Ma! We're coming to lend you a paw! Oh, I'm sorry, Snappy. My stunt didn't work so good. 
You did great, though, Baby Pie. Here, you deserve a nice ice cream. Ah, thanks, Cream. Our second challenge was designed by Gaz, <laughs> the Stinky Cat. I made an obstacle course along the sidewalks in town using... Trash! <laughs> you don't just have to avoid the obstacles. You also gotta pick up one of these flags before you get to the end. Get ready, set, go! Cub, can you hear me? They're on their way. Okay, Gabby, I'll handle this. Safety first. Look! The light is green! We can close the street easy with a police cat helping us. Thanks, Cub! Look! We have to jump the cans! I don't think I can do it. Don't worry, Scribbly. Just follow us. Give yourself a boost. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Pilu. <laughs> Next obstacles will be easy. Yeah! Huh? Hmm. I'm not so sure about that, Pilu. Those cans are too high to jump. My flag is on that bench. That means I gotta go that way. Scribbly, there's your flag. Zigzag around those bags and grab it. Let's see how the race is going. Don't cry, Hope. <laughs> Giving your flag to Hope was very nice of you, Scribbly. You made my little one so happy. I'd rather make Hope happy than win the race. Don't worry. Carry on the race without me. <laughs> Congratulations! You completed the challenge! <laughs> I just have to work on it. I think she's gonna get it. Uh, no, 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 no! She's oh. not gonna make it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Don't worry, Pilu! I'll catch you! <laughs> You got the right attitude, Pilu. Now you just have to practice on your balance. Uh, maybe I need some practice, too. <laughs> Terry, could you give Pilu a paw with her scooter? Sure thing! We'll have lots of fun together. <laughs> we'll start off together on one scooter, you'll drive, and I'll keep it balanced. Ready? Go! <laughs> You didn't even notice you were going all by yourself. And you're keeping your balance, even though! I... I did it! <laughs> hmm. Stray cats, here I come. Super good! You're a master at keeping your balance. Next, you have to learn to push off the right way. Look! Okay. Time for a super push! Don't go too hard! Hit the brakes, Pilu! I don't know how to stop! Ready? Go! Yes! <laughs> 
<laughs> wow! This route is harder than I thought, but I can do it! Terry's off course. <laughs> hey, Blue, Winston's garden is full of cat traps. I know, Lampo, but I gotta help Terry. <laughs> Puffy cats, let's go lend Pilu a paw. Huh. There's not much time to find Terry and Pilu before the traps go off. There! Stop it, Terry! We gotta go back! My cat! Uh, 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 now the real fun begins. I'll catch you, Carrot! Boss is playing his pranks again. Watch out, Carrot! I see you, Boss, but you're not gonna catch us! Oh, really? Let's see how you do against the trappies. <laughs> A uh, dog. Dogs are our friends. But I'm a cat. No, Terry. If you're a cat, the trappies will attack no. you. You're right, Pilu. I'll pretend I'm a dog. Uh, meow. Cats are not our friends. We must attack. Leave it to me, Terry. It'll take a little bit of cuteness. Uh -huh. They're so sweet and nice. Oh, my whiskers, there's too many. I'll never be able to distract them all. Don't worry, Pilu. We're here. Trappies, Buffy Cats! I've got a Buffy brainstorm, m'lady. I'll take the remote right out of Boss's paws. No! no. The remote control! Ha! Trappies! Attack Boss! Trappies? Get away! Buffy Cats! This isn't over! No, boss. Not until you can get your remote back. <laughs> Pilu, you are awesome! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thanks, Pilu! It was kitten's play. Come on, Terry. Let's finish the race. <laughs> <laughs> to complete the race, throw your carrot in the basket and pick up the pace. <laughs> <laughs> You're both great. Huh? Terry, you made it first. You win the trophy. Yes, Gabby, but I dropped my carrot once. Pilu never dropped hers. Gabby, I think the real winner of this scooter race is Pilu. Great, Terry. That's very sports cat like. Thank you, Terry. You are a true furry fellow. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. We will celebrate you all day in a magic way. What a special moment to receive a precious present that's so excellent. Oh, yeah, now you feel anticipation with this.
my meatballs. What's that? And that? And that? Take it easy, Meatball. I'm sure the doctor's instruments are totally harmless. Whoa! What is that? It's a laser thermometer. I just want to take your temperature. Doctor, you're going to zap me with a laser? No way! <laughs> Please, hold Lampo still. Hey! You have a slight fever. Fever? Ha, nah, I feel fine. You see? Maybe this time we'll have to do it without Lampo. Off you go. Don't worry. I will take care of Lampo. Lampo! Granny's calling you! Give me a second, Pilu. Hmm. <laughs> I'm done, Buffy Cats! Decorating for the party? I'll do anything for fun times, m'lady. Uh... <gasps> oh, no! Lampo caught a cold. I heard that, huh? Lampo. You sneezed. Hmm. I am making you some nice vegetable soup. That should make you feel better. I'll go buy some veggies. I just want to check your throat for swelling. I'm not sick! <laughs> it's so hot in here. Gotcha! Well, one way to get rid of a cold is to sweat it out. Granny is home. No! I don't want vegetable soup! <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Lampo. A little veggie soup will make you feel better. <laughs> Good kitty. Good kitty. <laughs> Oh. I want to see that bowl empty when I come back. The soup stinks. Vegetable soup is supposed to be helpful to recover from a cold. What's that? It's just a prescription, Lampo. Of course, you have to eat vegetable soup. And noodles. Doctor's orders. And you better do it if you want to sing at that party. Oh, my meatballs. What a rude awakening. Why is Dr. Fisby here? Meatball, you were sleepwalking all night. Seriously, m'lady? Oh, I don't remember anything. And I wish we could forget. It's all your fault, Meatball. We didn't get any sleep last night, and now we're exhausted. <sighs> Buffy Cats, you did the right thing, getting him back to bed. You must never wake a sleepwalker. I'm a sweet talker? Meatball, your furry fellows called for my medical expertise. So... But I feel just fine. My first hypothesis is that his bed isn't fluffy enough. When Meatball falls asleep, he goes searching for a better one. Where can we find a really fluffy bed? At the farm, obviously. After all, the hay bales are very comfy. There you go. Is it serious, Dr. Fisby? It's just a sprain. Oh. Good thing you called me right away. But unfortunately, you'll have to be on bed rest for two days. Oh, no. Our concert! Our choreography just doesn't work for two. We are the Pinky Paws! And we're the Buffy Cats, ready to help you! Right, my furry fellows? I've got a Buffy brainstorm! We'll solve the problem with our creative recycling! Cherry, you'll be sitting on a throne and singing. 
Lolly, Betty, you'll dance on the thrones around Cherry, then jump down center stage. And Pilu's gonna take the stage with you. <laughs> we have to rehearse. <laughs> Granny Pina was right. Lampo, you caught a cold. <gasps> Uh, no, 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 I, I feel perfectly fine. Meow. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I have the impression someone's just told a lie. Uh, uh, I feel great, m'lady. The show must go on. Mm, we should call Fizby. <sighs> Fizby? The doctor cat? Oh, no way! Nope! No, uh, uh No, no, no! <laughs> See? I feel great! Jump! I meant to do that. <laughs> Lampo, you're sick. Go rest and call Dr. Fizby. You're not afraid of the doctor, are you? Afraid of the doctor? Oh, no. Me? What? No way. I love doctors. They're great. Well, I may not love doctors. I'm not afraid, however. I have the sniffles, but the party is more important. Let's re- <laughs> Tell me, Meatball, did you eat a bit too much recently? What do you mean by too much, Doctor? Too much is never too much for me. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll tell you the truth. The other day, I ate all the food Granny left us. All the food? <laughs> Everything's clear now. Meatball, you have indigestion. You just need to settle your stomach. A pity I don't have a digestive with me. We don't need one. Remember when hitting a C note on the base made him burp? Great idea, Pilu. <laughs> Meatball has completed oh. digestion. Yeah. <sighs> but now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Mischief Mouse is lying low, going round the cat on tiptoe. Watch out, Purr Purr Pudding. Mischief Mouse is right behind you. If it was me, I'd catch the mouse. Easy, on guard, Mousie. Huh? Is that you, Mousie? I knew it. There's no such thing as a giant mouse. But we do have a small guest in our house. Aha, there you are. Don't come any closer. Don't be scared, Mousy. We don't want to hurt you. If you're hungry, just ask. Especially if you're hungry for noodles. I'm not hungry. Then tell us what's bothering you. Consider us your furry fellows. My name is Tap Tap. I'm here looking for help. Hmm. There's no cat in sight. Should we go? Wait, Tick, it's too dangerous. I think it's better to wait for Daddy. I'm sure he'll come get us soon. <laughs> Shh, keep it down or the cats will hear us. Hmm. There it is. Tick, Tack, and Toe are in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing me that info. Now you can go. <laughs> Wow. Hey, those cats are here to save us. <gasps> and Daddy is with them! Huh? Huh? <laughs> Go on. We could do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> huh? I'll save you, my furry fellows. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> 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 With the noodles. Ah. Hey, Dad is coming. Hooray! Woo Too late. 
Here you go, Buffy Cats! But you're certainly not as clever. Watch out, Scab! Little ones, I'm here. No, you're my prey! Trappy! Boss me! Boss me! Tap Tap, you were super brave! I was able to be brave thanks to you, my furry fellows. You're always our super daddy. Um, may we have something to eat, please? <laughs> I'm hungry, too! It's snack time. Daddy! Hi, Tap Tap. You know what, Dad? Huh? They don't know the story of Speedy Cheese. Who is Speedy Cheese? <laughs> Boss doesn't, doesn't know about, about Speedy Cheese? He's the fastest biker mouse in the world! Wait. Wait, wait, Mousy. I'm the fastest biker in the world. May I? My cheese! Hey, boss, are you just here to act like a bully or what? No, Lampo. I'm here to have some fun and to challenge. Me! Uh, no. Speedy Cheese! But I don't know. He, he might be busy. Speedy Cheese would win. He's faster than cats, too. And our daddy knows him personally. Right, daddy? Well, yes, but... Uh... Good, good. <laughs> good. Then tell him the challenge is tonight at the scrapyard. <laughs> Speedy Cheese will win. Speedy huh? Cheese will win. Uh -huh. hmm. Oh, what's with the sad face? Come on, call up Speedy Cheese and ask him to teach Boss a lesson. Buffy Cats, I made up the story of Speedy Cheese to give my kids the role model, the champion, that I'm not. I don't want to disappoint them, but I don't have the courage to tell them that their champion doesn't exist. Don't worry, Tap Tap. <gasps> we'll help you make him real. Seriously, m'lady? But how? It's gonna be a piece of cake, Tap Tap. You'll see. <laughs> Hey! Look at that! A super, super, duper twist! Everyone, look! Someone new is on the track! But nobody knows who it is! At least I don't know. We know who it is! Tap Tap! Our daddy! I owe it to my little mice. A great recovery for Tap Tap! He's small, but super fast! Blister, scab, stop him now. Mouse traps. I gotta be brave. Like Speedy Cheese. Ouch! 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 Watch out! Boss is flying off the track. Tap Tap crosses the finish line first! What a possum race, my furry fellows! Or better yet, my mousy fellows! Yeah! You're totally our champion! You won the motorbike race! But Dad, 
Is it true that Speedy Cheese isn't real? <laughs> That's right. I was never very good at writing, so I invented the Speedy Cheese story to give you a role model for sport and life. Mm -hmm. But thanks to the Buffy Cats, I found the courage to tell you the truth and get on the track for you. You're our champion, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Mousy friends and furry fellows, the winner is... Tap Tap, our daddy. Buffy Cats, what do you say we dedicate a song to this fabulous dad? Sends when one of you gets the perfume and brings it back to the tunnel. Buffy cats, remember you're all on the same team and watch out for obstacles along the way. Are you ready? Go! With all this rain, I can't see the bottle. Found it! Over there! It's harder than I thought. Hit <laughs> staff. Landing! La Palette is eliminated! 
I'm sorry, La Palette. But this means I'm in first. I can't believe it! Your disbelief is not without reason, my dear Gas. This contest is not over yet. What? Huh? <laughs> Tin Catmon is holding the second clue on the roof of the museum. <laughs> <laughs> It's a circus ticket to the park! Make haste! Uh, Tim Catman, do you happen to have any snacks with you? Ready for the show, Chuck? I always am, Milky. Oh! Gentle cats, the treasure hunt has led me right to you. Hello, Sir Archibald. Watch out, Chuck! Whoa. Attention, everyone! Archibald is having some trouble. Uh, uh, but, but what's going on? What a regrettable incident. What a twist! Archibald McArchibald touches the ground and is disqualified. Too bad. This was the last clue. The clue is still good for me. Uh, a cuckoo clock, huh? That looks like the one in the clock tower. What a great place to stop for a snack. Thanks for the insight, Meatball. See you there. The treasure is waiting for me. They've completed the second leg. Goss and Meatball are heading for the final stretch. Our friends are neck and neck. Who is gonna win? Gas or meatball? Ouch! Sorry, meatball! I can't see anything! Hey! That's two flying cats? <laughs> This catch is gonna be worth double! Watch out, my furry fellows! Trouble ahead! It's Birdie the Cat Catcher! <laughs> Two for one deal on cats! This really is my lucky day! I can't take this anymore! Ah, let's get some altitude! Birdie's right here! <laughs> Nothing can stop Birdie the Cat Catcher. <laughs> Don't worry, Meatball. We lost him. <laughs> you thought you could get rid of me? <laughs> we have to get out of here. Leaving so soon? The fun is just getting started! Oh no! My balloon! <laughs> uh, uh, gotcha, ratty cat! Help, Meatball! Meatball! What a catastrophe! Gas is in trouble! The treasure hunt can wait! It's the second flying cat! There's room in my cage for you, too! Gas, grab my paw! <laughs> you can't escape me! You spoke too soon! Bon Bon attack! <laughs> The mighty Igor and the amazing Boom Boom Stuffers! Who is going to win the big race? We'll find out at the end of 10 laps. Anyway, may the best cat win! That's me. There's still time to withdraw, guys. Am I still in time to join the race? It's Lambo, cat friends! What a surprise! We have four bikes in the race now. I'm the one who will cross the finish line. Blister, Scab, get ready to help. 
At your beck and call, boss. <laughs> hmm. On your mark, three, two, one, go! It's hungry. Pilu, Meatball, find something to eat. Quick! Well, I think I already know what we need. Sorry, cat friends. Could you give me all of your sweets? It's for a good cause. Please? Oh, look what I found. Lots of sweets. Mm -hmm. Well done, Pilu. But it's not enough. The bike is still hungry. Granny Peanut's noodles will give Lampo's bike superpower! <sighs> These noodles are so inviting, so tasty, so... <sighs> I can't look at them, they're too tasty! Oh. I must not smell it! <laughs> <laughs> I'll get them there safe and sound. Oh. Take your time, Lambo. See with the finish line, but don't make me wait too long. <laughs> we need something else. Something like a nice plate of noodles. Perfectly warm and prepared by Granny Pina. You resisted the temptation to eat them? You're a hero, Meatball! A hungry hero. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lambo is back and catching up. One lap after another. Unbelievable! Last lap. Lambo overtakes Bob. Hey, what are you doing? And wins the Meow Meow Grand Prix! Yeah! Our third trial will be race. Reach the finish line first, win the yarn ball! I'm not so sure this will be fun for everyone. Remember, Zoe, all that matters is... I know, m'lady. All that matters is a strong start. Hmm. Hmm. Ready? Go! <laughs> Zoe, what I wanted to tell you was, all that matters is having...
having fun, not winning. Wow! Burst! You won, Sushi. <laughs> but are you sure everyone had fun? Well, uh, yes. <laughs> Remember? You have real fun when everyone's having fun. <laughs> You're, You're right, right Meepo. Now the ball is yours, Sushi. What's our next trial? <laughs> I have an idea that'll be fun for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our annual scooter race for kittens. And say hello to our little racers, Scribbly, <laughs> Baby Pie, <laughs> Kilu. <laughs> now that the kittens are all here, the race can begin. Wait, <laughs> I'm coming too. Uh, hello, Terry. But. You're not a kitten. Yes, I am, Gabby. I can meow like kittens. Meow. I wash like kittens. And I can make sweet eyes like kittens. Of course. You can join the other kittens, little Terry. Yay! Terry the kitty together with all the kitties! Dear kitties, your first challenge is to twirl elegantly from one ramp to another. The first to go will be Pilu! <laughs> A truly refined stunt. Congratulations, Pilu! Scribbly, your turn now. I came to the race to meet new friends, but I don't know if I can handle challenges like this. Don't worry, Scribbly. If you need help, I'll lend you a paw. Thanks, Terry. You're a good friend. No! Oh. Ah! Oh. No! Well done, Scribbly. And now it's up to. Uh, where's Terry? For a super jump, you need a super running start. Make way! Great, Terry. That stunt of yours was truly dizzying. Make way! Uh, oh, wait, <laughs> Baby Ma, We're coming to lend you a paw. Uh, I'm sorry, Snappy. My stunt didn't work so good. You did great, though, Baby <laughs> Pie. Here, you deserve a nice ice cream. Ah, thanks, Cream. Huh. <laughs> and now they have to cross the finish line on their sleds. Driving now their little sleds, they face the steep descent to cross the finish line and win the third event. Tum -tum. Our musical accompaniment, the competition would be really boring. Yeah, but less stressful. Oh, my whiskers, what a race! I'm so nervous for Lampo, I've lost my appetite. Of course, you did eat the two remaining cans of fish pate. Huh? No, I ate one can. So where is the last one? It's time for the Pinkie Paw's favorite food, my trump card against Lampo. <laughs> Huh? Hey, look! Fish pate, not too salty. Fee, fee, fee. Fee, fee, fee. A delicious smell is floating in the air. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boss has thrown a can of pate over there. Yummy, yum. Yummy, yum. And let's hope that Lampo will want to share. Pinkie Paws is the one we adore. Fish pate, not too salty. You've got something for us. Pate, pate, don't keep it all to yourself. 
Oh, you want the can? <laughs> Thank you, Lampo. You're simply beautiful. <laughs> The lead sled is approaching the finish line, and it's... <laughs> Did you hear that? Someone's whistling! The whistle must be Cop, the police cat! Wow! He's my hero! Yeah! Uh, knowing Terry, he might get into trouble. We better follow him. I'll bring the noodles. You never know. I heard your whistle, and I came straight away. Uh, why? Cause I'm a police cat too, you see? Buffy Cats, what's up with Terry? He thinks he's a cat. And today, he's decided to become a police cat. Look! The traffic lights have gone crazy! Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Huh? Let me handle this! Uh. Harry, this is not a game! Hey, I can't change the color of the traffic lights! Nope. Neither can I! Hmm. Someone must have sabotaged the traffic lights. Oh, no! It was the traffic light saboteur! In situations like these, a police cat has to take action. Copy that, cop! I'm on it! Where are you going? That's ah. my bike! Ah. I know how to catch up to him! Yeah. Follow that bike, m'lady! Crazy traffic lights! I have to find the traffic light saboteur! to have one of my own. <laughs> Terry, could you give Pilu a paw with her scooter? Sure thing! We'll have lots of fun together! <laughs> we'll start off together on one scooter, you'll drive, and I'll keep it balanced! Ready? Go! Terry? Terry? <laughs> you didn't even notice you were going all by yourself. <laughs> and you're keeping your balance even now. I, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> My ears are telling me there are cats in danger. Terry? This patch, all clear out here. Over and out. Weird. Uh -huh. Listen, there are cats in danger. Let's go check it out. My nose will help me find them. Terry, the terrific in action! Look at that dog. He's got a scent. Let's follow him. He'll lead us to the cats in danger. There they are. How can we save those two cats? Mr. and Scab, how did you get over there? We wanted to play a trick on you, but ended up in trouble. Blister and Scab, you never change. Playing mean tricks behind people's backs is no good. Okay, sorry, 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 but uh, just save us. Meow! And what can we do? Cats like us can't cross the river. We're afraid of water. Cats like you can't, but I'm a fire 
firefighter cat! <laughs> Good job, doggy! The rope! Let's pull it tight so the cats can get across. You were so brave. You're a real fire dog. Let's get these frightened kitties to safety. Who's frightened? We're blistering scab. The toughest cats in town. Poor Blister and Scab. Can't handle some cuddles. You see? Terry, you did it! You heard their call for help thanks to your ears. And found them thanks to your nose. And you weren't afraid of water. Yeah, just like a real dog. No, Lampo. Not like a dog. Like a cat. Firefighter cat! <laughs> <laughs> Where's Terry? For a super jump, you need a super running start! Make way! Great, Terry! Helps Igor train better. to meet you. My friend is out of town and Terry needs company. Terry loves kitties, so I took him here to play with you. <laughs> Terry Settle, I know you'll be nice to sweet little Terry. Have fun, I'll be home by dinner. Terry, sit. Good boy. <laughs> Let's get out before he sees us. like cats, not like dogs. But cats are just like dogs. Huh? No, we're not. Right yeah. you are. We all have four paws, fur, and a tail. We eat treats, we take naps, and we live with humans. <gasps> He's right. We are like dogs. We're not, huh? Meatball. Cats and dogs are totally different. 
But I love kitties. I want to be your friend. You love us? Yes, of course. And I'd be so happy to be like you, to be a cat. I've got it. Terry, what if we teach you to act like a cat? So all the kitties will be your friends. Woohoo! I'm gonna be a kitty! <laughs> the second trial is gonna be pole climbing. First one at the top takes the ball. But I'll win, cause I'm a cat. Ready? Go! <laughs> than I thought. I got it! Do this! I got it! I got it! I got the arm ball! I won! Well done, Zoe. Did you have fun? Go! <laughs> wow! This route is harder than I thought, but I can do it! Terry's off course. <laughs> I'll catch you, Carrot. Boss is playing his pranks again. Watch out, Terry! <laughs> <laughs> I see you, Boss, but you're not gonna catch us. Oh, really? Let's see how you do against the trappies. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, dog! Dogs are our friends! But I'm a cat! No, Terry! If you're a cat, the trappies will attack no. you! You're right, Pilu! I'll pretend I'm a dog! Uh, meow! Cats are not our friends! We must attack! Leave it to me, Terry! It'll take a little bit of... cuteness. Uh -huh. They're so sweet and nice. Hey, that's Terry. I wonder how he got up there. <laughs> that puppy got his collar snagged on the cuckoo clock. We have to get him down. Yeah, but how? The truck with the ladder isn't here yet. Yeah. I gotta save him. Hey, where's <laughs> that cat going? <laughs> Save you, Terry. No need. Remember, huh? I'm a cat. I can handle this. How? What are you gonna bark your way down? And are you sure that you can climb from this height? Oh. No. No, no, not now that I think about it. Help. Hold on, Terry. Oh. Ah. 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 Oh. Oh. Fallen. Oh. 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 You deserve a medal, Firefighter Cat. A medal! This is just what I needed. Terry, this is how you greet a cat. Hi, I'm Lampo. Terry, that's how dogs meet someone. And dogs wag their tails. Tail? You again! I'm gonna get you! Terry, if you're going to be a cat, you have to be cool. Stop, please! Chill. Terry, sit! Very good. Now, Terry. If 
if you want to be a cat, you have to meow. Like this. Meow. Huh? No problem, Lampo. Bow wow. Uh, that was a bow wow. Uh, it was? Uh, can you say me? Me. Can you say ow? Ow. Say them together. Meow. Meow. <gasps> meow. <gasps> meow. 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 Oh, I want to be a dog. Terry, teach me how to bark. That's easy, Pilu. Just shout out your feelings from deep in your belly. Like this? <laughs> that was awesome! Once Terry's all cat-like, we'll do the tree test. <laughs> no worries, Terry. You'll be ready soon. <laughs> Oh, I meant to say meow. I'm a cat. <laughs> Go fetch. Uh, it's too hot today. <sighs> it's scorching out there. Shh. Don't talk about the heat, my lady. You'll make it worse. Incoming cold front, me fall. <laughs> Now it's perfect, Lampo. It's too hot to play furry ball. Want to take my place, Meatball? Sorry, Pilu. I'll just be chilling till the ice melts. Hit up, Pilu! Here comes my super shot! Washing machine. <sighs> Too bad. I guess we can't play with it anymore. Great job, Baby Pie. Your super shot never fails. If only yeah. your super shot could solve this heat problem. What we need right now is. Huh? Ice cream! Ice cream! Huh? <laughs> Ice cream incoming for Milky and Chalk! <laughs> Ice cream acrobatics! Perfect for our new circus act! <laughs> okay, Gas, what do you think of this bench? A bench for a home? Yes, perfect for soaking in the sun by day or gazing at the stars by night. Well, it looks comfy. <sighs> what a stink! Oh no! All my ice cream is gonna fall! <laughs> <laughs> Now who's going to eat all my ice cream before it melts? With Meatball around, <laughs> your ice cream will never go to waste. Thanks, Meatball. Always happy to help, Cream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One strawberry ice cream for Gabby. And here's your cone, Gabby. Mmm, delicious. Thanks for helping us beat this heat. You're welcome. Bye. My oh. turn at last. Great job, Cream. You got ice cream for all the neighborhood cats. Thank you, Buffy Cats. I couldn't have done it without you. We're always happy to lend a paw. I'm sorry again, Cream. 
I didn't mean to cause so much trouble. I could never have gotten my machine working again without your help, Baby Pie. In fact, I have a reward for you. Here you go. A giant ice cream cone, just for you. Thank you, Creep, but... Uh -huh. uh, I think I'm not gonna eat ice cream till next summer! <laughs> <laughs> is open for business. Huh? Huh? One banana ice cream, please. Coming right up, Cosmo. <laughs> banana ice cream, Cosmo. Hello. I want to try the hairball flavor. A hairball ice uh -huh. cream for gas. Uh -huh. oh. idea was a really good one, Buffy Cats. Thank you. It's all thanks to Cream. I win the contest with my baby kite. <laughs> Forget it, Kitty. That little kite's coming in last. But I don't want to be last. 
Oh, Baby Pie, don't mind, boss. He's just causing trouble. Mm. Remember, winning is not important. What counts is participating and having fun. <laughs> Igor! Can I play too? Baby Pie, you're late. Contest already started. But kites are made for flying. You can still do it. Cat friends, last contestant is here. Baby Pie with Baby Cat. And up there, Black Dragon and Puppy Kite head to head. Who will win? I will, one way or another. And I'll start with the other. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Baby Kite reached Black Dragon! This be a serious, formidable contest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, impossible! I'll win no matter what! I've sent that kitten into the air. I'm as good as one. <laughs> we'll save Baby Pie with our Buffy kite. Thanks, Buffy Cats. What a twist! Buffy kite eliminated on purpose to save Baby Pie. We lost for a good cause, Buffy Cats. Thanks, my furry fellows! Now victory is in the bag! You sure about that, boss? Come on, Black Dragon, chop up that baby cut! Oh, why isn't it working? Why? Black Dragon Fallen! Boss eliminated! Oh, and Baby Pie wins the contest! Forty fellows, winner of Great Kite Tournament is Baby Pie! Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Fellows, you were right. Participating is important. But winning is even more fun! Yeah! <laughs> 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 oh no! Baby Pie flew away again! Uh, anyone know how to get him down? Hi, I'm Pilu. Hello! What's your name? Baby Pie! Oh, I get it, baby pie. Kilo, we're off to the scrapyard. Gotta ask Wrench to fix our instruments. Oh, who's your little friend here? Baby pie. You must be new in town, right? Yeah, my lady, I can come. I can't leave a poor kitten with no one to play with. Yes, let's play. Come on, come on, come on. Remember. Steer clear of Granny Penis trophies in the sitting room. And have fun, but don't make a mess. Don't worry, Lampo. Baby Pie and I will be good, and we'll have fun together. <gasps> Baby Pie, where are you? <gasps> good. Now I'm ready to write my article about the wear cat. But I need absolute silence. Yeah! <laughs> 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 the wear cat. Way more fun.
fun to play. Hey, where did you go? The squirrel game! Wanna play catch the cat? I'll catch you first. Kitties! Kitties! Where are you? Granny won another trophy at the noodle cook-off. <laughs> I see you've made friends with Pilu. Oh, <laughs> such a playful kitten. You'll get along well together. <laughs> Baby Pie, leave that squirrel alone. Ah, let's play furry ball. Get a squirrel. Want to play with me? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but you have to be good. <laughs> Let's play like this. Pass the ball back and forth. Nice and easy. Yeah. Baby Pie, I said easy. You want to challenge me at furry ball? Last for it. <laughs> That's not fair. That's against the... Ah. Rules. Hey, this is the second time I've been disturbed. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Someone could get hurt. Uh -huh. This ball came from your garden. Pay attention next time. Thanks, Gabby. I'm sorry. We'll be more careful. <laughs> Let's do something quieter. Wanna uh, paint pictures? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll draw a forest. What about you? <gasps> Green cat. <laughs> hey, not on the carpet. Give me that brush. <laughs> <gasps> That's a funny hat. <laughs> Want to play furry ball again? <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> I don't feel like it. You always make such a mess. Just one kick. <sighs> oh, fine. <laughs> but you promised just one kick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. That's the trophy Granny Pina won at the noodle cook-off. What do we do now? <laughs> we play! No, I can't play. I have to fix it before Granny sees it. <laughs> Where are you going? To the scrapyard. I'll ask Wrench to fix the trophy. Can I help you? I just want to... You've done enough already. Uh, I just want to play with you. Wrench will have this trophy fixed in no time. But where did he go? Oh, no. Blister and Scab, always up to no good. Hmm. Scab, what about this one? No way! We gotta impress, boss, so we need to pin something fancy. Hey, you! Taking other people's things is not nice! Oh, look, Blister! An angry kitten! Two gifts for Boss. That'll make him twice as happy. This is Granny Peanut's trophy. <laughs> that I broke in half. Yeah, that baby pie broke in half. Hey, what are you doing here? Want to play furry ball? All right, baby pie. Let's play yeah. two on two. So you two are one team, and I with Pillow. <laughs> Ready to lose, Brett? What are you talking about? Come on! Who doesn't love to play furry ball? Scab, we gotta nap the trophy and go! Yeah. <laughs> 
This calls for your powerful just one kick. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Look out! A bunch of other games too. Yeah. Took a while to find the parts, but the Buffy Cat's instruments should be all good now. And what is this? Granny Pina's trophy! And it's broken? I can fix it. <laughs> Hi guys! Did you two have fun together? Yeah, a lot of fun! Baby Pie is the perfect playmate. Well, I gotta go now. My mom is waiting. Wait, I'll walk you. <laughs> we'll try other games next time, too. Of course, Baby Pie. Come back when you want. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye-bye. Here comes Mimi. What's up, Baby Pie? I wanted to get the ball out of the jar, but my paw got stuck. I'll never get it out. I'll have a paw in the jar forever. Don't worry, Baby Pie. We'll just cool the jar and free your paw. <gasps> I've got a Buffy brainstorm. Let's go see Cream, the ice cream maker cat. Possum idea, Pilu. Don't worry, Baby Pie. We'll solve this problem in a minute. Come on, Baby Pie. Put your paw in a jar in the Lemon Meow ice cream. <laughs> it's so chilly. <gasps> Yay! My paw is free. <laughs> no, Baby Pie. Oh. You'll just get it stuck again. But I want to play. If you want the ball, turn the jar over. Look, like this. Uh, yay! Now watch Baby Pie's thrilling throw. Cream, maybe to treat me to a hot chocolate instead. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going back to play. You were catastic, Pilu. Hit on Pilu. Here comes my super shot. <laughs> Washing machine. <sighs> Too bad. I guess we can't play with it anymore. Great job, Baby Pie. Your super shot never fails. If only yeah. your super shot could solve this heat problem. What we need right now is. Huh? Ice cream! Ice cream! Hey, it's Cream, the ice cream maker cat. I'm so happy to hear that bell. I really want a refreshing ice cream. Cream! My sweet cream! We're right here! Hi, Cream. I'd like all the flavors you have. <laughs> I'll even take the hairball flavor. I'm sorry, my furry fellows. Okay, then make me a cone with all the other flavors. Excuse me, I'm first. <laughs> I'd love to help you, but there's a problem. I don't have any ice cream left. But I need an ice cream. It's so hot today. All the cats in town need one, but I don't know what to do. My ice cream machine isn't working. Cream, don't worry. The Buffy Cats will help you. Right, Buffy Cats? Mm -hmm. And Baby Pie will pitch in, too. <laughs> I just want plenty of ice cream. Thank you. I'm going to need all your help. Come with me. <laughs> this is the machine that I use to produce all my ice cream. I wish it was. It completely stopped working this morning, and I don't know what happened. 
How will I supply all the neighborhood cats with ice cream? I want to make it by paw, but that's such a big job! You're gonna need a lot of paws, then. We'll help you make the ice cream. You just need to show us how to do it. And I'll be the taste tester to check if it's good. <laughs> All right, Buffy Cats. With your help, maybe we can make enough ice cream for everyone. For everyone? Oh. I don't feel so good. Buffy Cats, I think I know where the rest of my ice cream went. Sorry, Cream. It was so hot today, and your ice cream was so good. Baby Pie, you ate half of the ice cream we made. Oh, I'm definitely way too full. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, okay, huh? uh, we can fix this. Let's use the remaining ingredients to make more ice cream. But there are no ingredients left. I put the ones I had this morning inside the machine, and the machine doesn't work. If the machine has a problem, I'll figure out where it is. <laughs> the whiskers are telling us the problem is there. <laughs> hey, there's a coconut stuck up in here. That's why the machine got stuck. Uh, uh, it's not budging loose. Baby Pie, do you think you can use your super shot? Or are you too full? <gasps> Never too full for furry ball. Want to play? Absolutely. Kick the ball against the machine. No, stop! Trust me, my friend. I know what I'm doing. Can't believe it. Well done, Baby Pie. You've been awesome. Now, come on, let's fill all the pans. The customers are waiting. Snapping. My stunt didn't work so good. You did great, though, Baby <laughs> Pie. Here, you deserve a nice ice cream. Ah, thanks, Cream. I'm sorry again, Cream. I didn't mean to cause so much trouble. I could never have gotten my machine working again without your help, Baby Pie. In fact, I have a reward for you. Here you go. A giant ice cream cone, just for you. Thank you, Creed, but... Uh, I think I'm not gonna eat ice cream till next summer! <laughs> <laughs> the day is done when you come home, he's gonna jump on the floor. Behind the door, it's your dog, very cheerful. Into the bowl, swims on patrol all day, whirling around. Without a sound, it's your fish, very cheerful.
arrives Because she's always got a tree or maybe five I want to teach you one thing Never be angry but sing Inside your home you're living with the mighty king He climbs a tree Have a soft landing. <laughs> Meatball has a rear airbag. <laughs> My kitty sitter friends, I've got no more ideas. Oh, I know who could lend us a paw. Mimi, the pediatrician cat. She always knows what to do with little ones. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. Looking after a kitten like Hope is easier than you can imagine, Buffy Cats. Are you serious, Mimi? Of course, Meatball. All you have to do is give Hope a game that keeps her busy. Look, Hope. With this spoon, you have to take the mousy to his little house. It's your turn now, Hope. Oh, mousy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mimi, you're possum. Thank you. It's my pleasure, Pilu. But I must go now. Other little ones might need me. Hope we'll have lots of fun and you'll be perfect kitty sitters. All right, Puffy Cats. Let's take this chance to tidy up the game room so Hope can play safely. Meatball, you tidy up the toys. <laughs> Here is a good place for these. Oh! What do I see? Wait for me! didn't. Ouch! My bon bon. <laughs> Please don't destroy all the games. <laughs> this place is kind of fun. Awesome! Then I won't have to go to the gym anymore. Meatball, you've never been to the gym. Jumping on this trampoline is the best! Yeah! Buffy Cats, did you start playing without me? <laughs> Come on, jump with me! Okay! <laughs> Buffy Cats, I'm hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. <gasps> that means danger. Huh? Uh, uh, oh! <laughs> How can we save him? Ta da! With Granny Pina's noodles. The secret's in the noodles of Granny Pina.
a big advantage! You can say that again! That'll give, give Boss, boss a, a big advantage! <laughs> Blister, scab, now it's your turn. This hook this. will hold him. <laughs> 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 to say. Well, I want to apologize to everyone, especially you, little mice. You see, Speedy Cheese isn't real. Then if... If Speedy Cheese isn't real, who's gonna win the race? Me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that! A super, super Super twist! Everyone look! Someone new is on the track! But nobody knows who it is! At least I don't know. We know who it is! Tap Tap! Our daddy! I owe it to my little mice. A great recovery for Tap Tap! He's small but super fast! <laughs> Blister, scab, stop him now! <laughs> Mouse traps. I gotta be brave. Like Speedy Cheese. Ouch! 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 Watch out! Boss is flying off the track. Start the propeller, Meatball. <laughs> <laughs> Your car awaits to take you to our house. Milady, could you drive the Pinkie Paws home, please? Of course, Pilu. Start the propeller, Meatball. <clears throat> I can't get the propeller going. We need a push. Get in the car. I'll handle this. <laughs> <laughs> The traffic light saboteur! Speed up, Terry! Granny Pee Pina cleans, cleans, Ada, hello, hello! Detected us, now this guy is detected. We're about to get him, cop! Cleans Ada, cleans Ada, cleans Pee Pee Pina. Traffic like Saboteur, don't move! And let me cuff you! Ada, floor, detected us. Clean the floor. What? Clean the floor. Clean, clean, clean. Don't make us do this the hard way. But it's Ada! We're looking at La Palette and Archibald. Knack and knack for the lead. 
the way. Gas is catching up. And Meatball is still last. What are you trying to do, Gas? Trying to overtake you, Lapalette. Be careful not to hit my wing. Huh? <laughs> What a turn of events! La Palette has lost control of his flying car! Cross landing! La Palette is eliminated! I'm sorry, La Palette! But this means I'm in first! I can't believe it! Your disbelief is not without reason, my dear guess. This contest is not over yet! <laughs> Tootin' Catmon is holding the second clue on the roof of the museum! <sighs> it's a circus ticket to the park! Make haste! <laughs> Tootin' Catman, do you happen to have any snacks with you? <laughs> Ready for the show, Chalk? I always am, Milky. Oh. Uh. <sighs> Good day, gentle cats. The treasure hunt has led me right to you. Hello, Sir Archibald. Watch out, Chuck! Attention, everyone! Archibald is having some trouble. Uh, uh, but, but what's going on? What a regrettable incident. <laughs> What a twist! Archibald McArchibald touches the ground and is disqualified. Too bad. This was the last clue. The clue is still good for me. Uh, a cuckoo clock? Huh? That looks like the one in the clock tower. What a great place to stop for a snack. Thanks for the insight, Meatball. See you there. The treasure is waiting for me. They've completed the second leg. Gas and Meatball are heading for the final stretch. Our friends are neck and neck. Who is gonna win, Gas or Meatball? Ouch! Sorry, Meatball. Oh. I can't see anything! Hey, that's two flying cats? Huh, this catch is gonna be worth double! Watch out, my furry fellows! Trouble ahead! It's Birdie the Cat Catcher! <laughs> two for one deal on cats! This really is my lucky day! <laughs> I can't take this anymore. Ah, let's get some altitude. Birdie's right here. Oh, my whiskers. Nothing can stop Birdie the cat catcher. Don't worry, Meatball. We lost him. <laughs> you thought you could get rid of me? So soon, the fun is just getting started. Oh no, my balloon! Uh, uh, got you ready, cat. Help me, fall! What a catastrophe! Gas is in trouble. The treasure hunt can wait. It's the second flying cat. There's room in my cage for you, too. Gas, grab my paw. <laughs> you can't escape me. You spoke too soon. Bon Bon attack. Cat catcher caught in a trash can! Take him out of the next turn. 
Belly button? What happened to the engines? <laughs> Waiting for booster rockets.
How was your trip? Did you see the moon monster? Sure, m'lady. I saw a Martian, too. <sighs> this ruler boat is what we need. All aboard, we're leaving. Come on, Buffy Cats. Let's follow that car. Think, Buffy Cats. Wow! It's a real submarine! You're the best, Wrench! So, what are you waiting for? Get on board! <laughs> <laughs> Laying down on the job, sailors. All hands on deck. We've got a pearl to find. But there are no pearls in the river. All rivers flow into the ocean. Milady, that's where you'll find what you're looking for. <laughs> Easy on that wheel. Oops. Periscope, any pearls in sight? Pilu? <laughs> Negative, Captain Wrench. Depth control, take us down a bit more. Right away, Captain Wrench. <laughs> this way. Follow me.
This is the last serving left. We need to take care of it. Pasa! We're going on a trip. Buffy cats, let's go visit Neko, the lucky cat. He always has lots of useful things. Come on, Buffy cats! <gasps> Catastrophe! We have no cake, and we're out of time to set up the party! So I was early? <gasps> Terry the police cat is here to direct traffic! But Terry, you're not a police cat! Actually, you're not even a cat! Uh -huh. Please, keep it down! Lampo, you turn left. Milady, that way. Pilu, you come back. People, go under the table. <laughs> Bye-bye! Oh. I know how to catch up to him! Yeah. Follow that bike, my lady! More crazy traffic lights! I have to find the traffic light saboteur! Terry. <laughs> Before taking action, a police cat needs to find the culprit. Meatball, what's that? I brought a little snack. You'll take it to go. <laughs> Which way did the cat catcher go? <laughs> Hello, kitties. Did you see the cat catcher's van drive by? Sure. They went around that corner. Thanks. Maybe this catnip ice cream has a strange side effect. I thought I was talking to a human. You were, Cosmo. Ah! At least I didn't see a dog meowing. <laughs> cream, can I have a catnip ice cream cone? So what now? Where do I go? There's no one to ask for directions. <sighs> My whiskers are telling us Birdie went that way! Lampo, why didn't you tell me about your whiskers power before? <laughs> The shop is closed. There might be a way in from the roof. <laughs> Hello, Hope. I'm 
Zata. Nice to meet you. Don't be sad. The Buffy cats are coming to rescue you. Oh, no. Birdie's chasing us! <laughs> I can't go any faster than this. <laughs> so Birdie will take Hope to the shelter for the night. And there's only one way to get there. That way. <laughs> I'll stop him. have my very own racing camel. Catalina, you have returned. I thought you had abandoned me, my friend.
it is half time. Six to six. You rest now. This is a really rough game. But the Buffy Cats are a team. We can do it. <sighs> the Buffy Cats are tough nuts to crack. We've got to win, no matter what. I'm definitely not eating all these beans because I like them, but for the pleasure of stinking up the Buffy Cat's beds. <laughs> Second half start. Uh, teams, come back inside field now. <laughs> Buffy Cat's six. Boost team eight. I don't know if we really can win, and I'm getting more and more hungry. We gotta do our best till the end. <laughs> nice shot, Lampo! <laughs> yeah! Whee! Buffy gets ahead with 10 points. We absolutely have to win against the Buffy Cats! Time is almost up! Last play of game! Huh? <laughs> Meatball touch ball of wool with Paul. Igor whistle for five point super mouse shot! If Boss scores, he'll win the game! <gasps> Go, Meatball! Do your best! The problem is, I'm really hungry. <laughs> Meatball, think about the cream puff! Huh? <gasps> Buffy Cats win 10 to 8! Look at me! Yeah! Mipa, you were possum! You made that save like a pro! Thank you, Pilu. Thank you, m'lady. But there's a problem. Huh? I'm still hungry for cream puffs. <laughs> you can have all the cream puffs you want now that we know you're unbeatable. Yes, unbeatable at eating cream puffs. We lost, Scab. Yeah, but where's Boss? I don't know. He needed to do something. Urgently. <laughs> I ate too many beans. <laughs> <laughs> Game on! Midball and Pillow against Blister and Scab. Three, two, one, go! You have no chance. <laughs> Here, blister! I'm taking this. Hmm. Oh, my whiskers! I can catch him! I can do it! I'm here! Come and get me! <laughs> Don't waste your time! Go and score! We've got a win! First point for Timbos! <laughs> Don't worry, my furry fellows! You did great! Yeah, Lola's right! Now I need my lady with you, Lola! All right, Lampo. Milady, let's show them what we've got. Stop! Your run ends here. Not at all. How about twirling with me? Up to you, Lola. Uh, I can't let Lola and my lady score. Huh, this water will make the ice more slippery than they could possibly imagine. <laughs> we can overcome anything by skating gracefully. Ha! 
calmly and with a light touch because... Skating is like dancing. <laughs> Melody and Lola score! Both two fight! No, no, no! You are both awesome! No, last round to decide winning team! I have to win, no matter what! Hmm, and I already know how. Lampo, what's our next move? Lampo, if you're a true cat's cat, then challenge me, one-on-one. -on -one. Or are you afraid to face me? I accept your challenge. I'm ready, boss. I'm ready, too. Come on, prepare a nice little prank for Lampo so that victory will be mine. We trust you, Lampo. My furry fellows, the truth is, I'm terrible at both skating and coaching. And I don't know if I'll be able to score the point to make you win. Lampo, we know you'll do your best, and that's all that matters. Ha! Great finale! Lampo and Boss, the two coaches, are taking the field. Who will win? You're never gonna win! Maybe, but I'm gonna play this out to the very end. Oh no, what do I do now? Lampo, remember, skating is just like dancing! <sighs> Great, with grace, calm, and a light touch. Perfect timing. Push scab. Let's clobber Lampo with a snowball. <laughs> What's that? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I dedicate this victory to you! <laughs> Both teams are ready! Uh. Go! Here! <laughs> Thanks for warming it up for me, milady. One point for Boss Blister and Scab's team! Yeah! <laughs> Show offs. Relax, Lampo. We're just getting started. Time to move up to the heavier ball. Let's see how the game unfolds now! Pass, Lampo! You're going, Rambo. Wait, Will? You think you can score from that far away, Lambo? <laughs> Great, boys! You scored a second point! <laughs> Time to move on to the lead ball! Blister! Scab! Help me! Milady, it's yours! In order to score enough points, the Buffy Cats must throw the ball from the yellow zone. Ah! Hey! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
empty? No popcorn for me. But I'm really hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. And that means danger! Go, Monkey Let's win this game! What's with all these trappies? Boss, are you cheating? It's only cheating if you get caught. Five trappies on the field. The game is temporarily suspended. Pilu, huh? Lampo and Milady need Granny Pina's noodles. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to food, I can catch anything. <laughs> yeah, special delivery. <laughs> to check on Lampo. It's not serious, Lampo, but you can't play the rest of the game. But we have to play, Dr. Fisby. We don't have a third player. Yes, you do. Huh? Tommy, stop growling. Listen to me. Things don't look good for the Buffy Cats, but Meatball is on the field. Can he and Will turn the game around? Ready, Meatball! This is what I trained for, Will! <laughs> no, no, no! Blister! Scab! Stop them! Throw! Yeah. of you, Buffy Cats, of your playing, and most of all, of your commitment. And I'm glad we can finally celebrate by eating. Ah, a day at the river is just what we needed. Especially when it includes a picnic. What yummy food did you bring us, milady? Pizza, an omelet, some potato chips, and best of all, cream puffs. <laughs> I love them. Oh, that bird loves them more than you do, Meeple. Wow, well, Meeple, there's still one cream puff left. All right, Pilu. <sighs> Better save it. I'll eat when things have settled down. <sighs> Finally, I can enjoy my sandwich. Wait, we got an emergency. <gasps> There's only one sandwich here. <gasps> what? Sorry. With all the rush, I forgot about the other sandwiches. No problem. We're passing through Scraped Peak. No, it would be like going back. For now. Let's move on. <laughs> on the ride! Buffy Cats, what are you waiting for? Nothing is impossible for a ranger cat. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh, yum. Cornbread, butter, and honey. <sighs> Great. Now we can have a healthy, natural snack together. Now that you mention it, Mimi, you know, this is the type of snack I used to have as a kid. I remember that when I did... Uh, it... Uh, it ended up like this. Our snack! Don't worry, Pilu. On my farm, there's always a way to find a huh? snack. Mm. It's true that snack time on the farm... Is the possumest snack time ever! <laughs> Meatball, they 
Thanks for giving us all your emergency food. You're welcome, m'lady. I deserve a reward for this. <laughs> I'm sorry, my furry fellows. I couldn't resist the hamburger. But you'll have to resist, Meatball. We need all the ingredients we can get. To break the record, our hamburger will have to be higher than the roof. Hello, Bubby Cat. I hear you want to break the hamburger world record. That's possum news. Get busy, Buffy losers, because I'm going to play a little prank on you very soon. Uh huh. And I already know what it's going to be. <laughs> Terry! Terry! Hurry up! Lampo's about to fall! You have to save him! Okay! I got it! This is a job for a firefighter cat! <laughs> hey! Lampo is in danger! I gotta save him! All right, my furry fellows! Our hamburger is getting super tall! The hamburger's gonna fall! Oh no, our hamburger fell over. Sorry, Buffy Cats. Come on, Buffy Cats! Have a seat. <sighs> Lampo, this gift is too heavy. <gasps> Did Meatball just say gift? I want to see the gift! Yep, it's a gift. A gift for the ants. What? A gift for the ants? Yeah, haven't you heard? Today is National Ant Day. We brought sandwiches for them. Hey, m'lady, did you fill them with broccoli? Um, no, I forgot. Could you go look for some broccoli? M'lady, I can't stand broccoli. I love broccoli. I'll go. You're not hungry, Meatball. You're thirsty. I'm not thirsty. I'm hungry. You're not hungry. You're thirsty. Drink. Okay, I'll just drink this super duper crazy triple carbonated orange soda. <laughs> but we're at the park. Where can I find broccoli here? Um, I don't know. Just look around and maybe you'll find some. Meanwhile, We'll finish setting up for our picnic. Sorry, I didn't find anything. Huh? Surprise! <gasps> Happy birthday, dear P. Lou. Happy birthday to, to you. you. Oh, best friends ever! That means you didn't forget. And this is for you. A scooter! It's possum! I love you, Bubby Kids! <laughs> Super duper ready! More than ready! <laughs> Look, my furry fellows, we're going out to sea! Let's get going, my furry fellows. My whiskers will tell us where the trash is. We'll find it and grab it all. <laughs> my whiskers are telling us that there's trash over there. <sighs> no trash will escape. A bunch of plastic straight ahead! Oh, my meatballs! How many things end up at the bottom of the sea? Look over there, Buffy Cats! I, I don't believe it. Even fish will stop at a red light. But we 
did a great job! Right, Lampo. I guess it's time for a snack with Granny's noodles. <laughs> Not yet, Lampo. Look over there. <laughs> That's a lot of trash. We can't leave it in the sea. We gotta find a way to grab it all. Let's follow it. Cave of Mommy Octopus. She's our friend. Yeah! Easy on that wheel. Oops. Whoa. Huh? Periscope. Any pearls in sight? Pilu? <laughs> Negative, Captain Wrench. Depth control? Take us down a bit more. Right away, Captain Wrench. Lampo, keep us from running aground. Don't worry, Captain. My whiskers are telling us we're right on course. <laughs> Rock on our port side, Meatball. Straighten up and then full speed ahead. Driving under the sea is the best. We don't even have to worry about getting stuck in traffic. Pearl, sighted to starboard. <laughs> 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 Beautiful! Crew, prepare the recovery operation. Turn on the light of the periscope. The pincer is in position, Captain. Yeah! <laughs> recovery operation successful. Ooh. Giant octopus on the bow, and it's angry. Quick, evasive maneuvers. Now, full speed ahead. We lost him. Don't be so sure, sailor. It's gaining on us. Prepare to be boarded. Or maybe eaten. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Pilu, I'm going back. Remain calm, sailor. Repeat the recovery operation. Right away, Captain. The octopus grabbed it. Don't give up, sailor. <laughs> Turn off the light of the periscope. We need to pass unnoticed. Quick, it's on our tail! Oh no! What do we do now? <laughs> Meepaw, cave spotted at 12 o'clock. Let's hide in there! in here, too. But why? The current must pull trash into the cave so it piles up on the shore. We have to do something. <gasps> oh, what a surprise! The Buffy Cat! Oh. <laughs> Hi! I'm so glad to see you again. <sighs> I'm sorry to greet you like this, but the water in my cave is full of trash. I try to toss it back out of the cave every day, but the current just drags it all inside again. Poor Mommy Octopus. And what's worse, my baby octopus is only able to leave the cave during low tide and return when the tide comes back in. That means... Yes, that's right. The current washes him back into the cave, along with a pile of garbage. <gasps> there, you see? Now is when the water starts to rise. Mommy Octopus, the water is not rising at all. In fact, it's going down. Oh no, there's so much trash, it's blocking the entrance to the cave. How will my baby get back now? 
We've got to clear the entrance to the cave of all that garbage. But the submarine's grabber is broken. Buffy cats, huh? I know what to do. Let's go! <laughs> Mommy Octopus was right. Trash is blocking the entrance. And poor baby Octopus can't get in. Come on, let's pull! It's useless. The pile of trash is way too stuck. Uh, hmm. Buffy brainstorm. We just have to use the submarine in a different way. Meatball, it's finally time for that snack. <laughs> Granny Peanut's noodles! The secret's in the noodles of Granny Peanut. I'll play the superpower, a special and real meaver. You eat them hot. Much, Buffy Cats. You saved my baby and cleaned the whole cave. I want to give each of you a precious shell. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow! Thank you. They're beautiful. <sighs> Bedtime. <sighs> Good night, my lady. Good night, Cosmo. Sweet dreams, Buffy Cats. This is how we sleep on planet Meow. Possum! Good night, everyone. Peaceful night, my friends. Good morning, kitties. How about some nice noodles? <laughs> Dear, there's only one serving left. Meepa, where were you? I took a walk to help my stomach, but. <laughs> But he'll settle for snoring. Buffy <laughs> 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 uh, cats, wake up! They call me Lempo. I'm the greatest. <laughs> Milady, wake up! Milady! What's wrong, Pilu? Meatball is sleepwalking and he's on the way out! <laughs> We've got to get him back to bed before he gets himself hurt! Oh no! He's about to step on that rake! Huh? Believe. 
unbelievable. It is absolutely perfect. Kitties, get ready. You're going to taste the best noodles Granny Penis ever made. <laughs> Goodbye, Buffy Cats. Bye-bye, Corny. <laughs> My furry fellows, that was a tiring day. <sighs> The countryside is nice, but I feel so tired. Me too. Apple pie. Apple pie. Oh, what a pity. I didn't find the farmer. Oh? But he left me all the ingredients I need right here. How kind of him. And you kitties, what are you doing? Resting? It's so true. Life in the countryside is really relaxing. <laughs> Noodle power. <laughs> In case you didn't know, I'm a superhero. Meanwhile, oh, wait! Those aren't Granny's noodles. <laughs> but Meatball, we only get noodle power from Granny's special noodles. Uh, I bruised my bum bum lampo. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's funny? Well, how about something? going anywhere until you get some rest. Buffy cats? Meatball? You sure you don't have more cleaning up to do? It's just that I don't like throwing away all my stuff. Tossing what you don't need is better than hiding it. Toss it? But I like it. It could be useful someday. That's true. It's not a waste if it can be reused and turned into something else. Lampo is right. The best way to keep your old stuff is to turn it into something useful and fun. <laughs> <laughs>
how to solve all their problems together. Never surrender, always win with a wink. And you'll be right there, laughing by their side. Running, rocking, mastering your cat boo. Trying all kinds of things you never tried. Learning fun stuff that you never knew. When you look through a different point of view, you discover beauty all around you. And since we smarty cats always things out of old stuff. It's a fun game! Then let's make it a game for all our furry fellows, too! Here's a Buffy brainstorm! We can hold a collection for old junk to reuse at the park! to our first ever Creative Recycling Day! Here you go, Lampo. My favorite tire. We made so many memorable races together. Thank you, Wrench. Pilu, I brought a box of old lucky horseshoes. But they've run out of luck. We'll put them to good use, Neko. <laughs> um, ah! This one for you. Now Igor lift up much heavier things. Yeah. Well, I can believe it, Igor. <laughs> We've collected tons of old and broken things. What should we do with all of them? We can turn them into a playground for the park. What do you think? That's a possum, Buffy Brainstorm, lady. Can't we have a snack first? Ha! <laughs> I'm hungry. But who's hungry? You were so helpful, kitties. You all get double food. Why was that weird old lady wearing that crazy cat head? Is she trying to be like one of our ratty cats? <laughs> Good. My robot trappies will catch her, too. Super Genius is intelligent, and Super Runner is very fast. Behold! Super Genius Trappy! Don't worry, boss. I programmed it not to annoy you. It's time to launch the incredible operation Get Rid of Those Ratty Cats. Trappy need belly rubs. No, no belly rubs until you catch those cats. Trappy feeling sad. Huh? Uh. <sighs> that was so much food. Need emergency nappies. Ugh. Ugh. Buffy cats, I don't think I could eat another bite. Uh. 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 Huh? Wow. Uh oh! Suddenly, I'm really hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. That means danger. Uh, danger of starvation, huh? I hate it when corn runs away. I caught you, Meatball. <laughs> Boss, just wait until my friends get here. Lampo, help! Oh, they're not your friends. They won't come. You want to bet? Buffy Cat! <laughs> Call your friends for help, so I will catch them too! <laughs> Again. Huh? Meepo! Uh, he's in trouble! Uh, Milady, Meepo is in danger! Uh, uh, Pilo, lady, follow me! Lampo, help! Meepo's caught in one of Winston's traps! <laughs> <laughs> 
Find yourself in a sticky situation? <laughs> Get a trappy. Trappy Stark. Oh, you are supposed to be a genius. Trappy needs belly rubs. Ah, come join your friends. You can all have one of your fun, happy kitty parties. <laughs> I am controlling them myself now. If I were you, the robots are programmed to only chase cats. Like I'm supposed to believe you. Told you. Happy need belly rocks. Got them. <laughs> Ouch! 
Ouch! Ouch! Ouch! How insufferable! Those ratty cats made me miss the shot! If this wall can't protect me from the horrible noise of those cats, I'll build one that's even taller! We're coming, kitties. Here comes your food. Huh? Granny, what's Winston doing? Hmm. Oh, can't you see? I'm putting up a wall between your annoying cats and my private life. I have to get rid of those cats forever. And while I'm at it, I'll get rid of every cat in town. Oh, it's okay, boss. You can stay with me. You're my one and only favorite cat. And... <gasps> What's this I'm reading? <laughs> what great news! There's an election coming for the town mayor. All I have to do is run for office and win at all costs. So I can build the world's largest anti-cat wall! <laughs> Vote Winston! Look at the polls! I am the favorite! Soon I will become your charming mayor! I'm gonna build a really high wall! We'll get rid of cats forever! Look! The cats are here! I will get rid of them because they are bad! Cats are not bad! They just need a little food and lots of cuddles! Cats are cute and sweet. Everyone knows it. Yeah. We'll see about that. Boss, handle this. Prove to everyone that cats are bad. <laughs> huh? Oh, thank you, kitties. If it wasn't for you, I'd have fallen into that manhole. Here, take these. <laughs> Good job, Bertie. It's dirty everywhere. Excellent, Brutus. Put those ratty cat tracks all over. <laughs> Look, Buffy Cats. Winston is with those two cat catchers. But what are they up to? Let's get this city dirty so everyone will think it was the cats and I'll become mayor! <laughs> We've got to stop them. Wait, Lampo. Our noodle power has worn off. Don't worry, milady. I've got a Buffy brainstorm. <laughs> Look! The cats have dirtied our city! <laughs> as soon as I become mayor, I promise I'll free you from cats forever! I agree with that! Everyone's clapping for Winston, but soon... They'll find out the truth! Come on, Meatball! This is for all of us! This is the first project I'll make happen as soon as I become mayor. The Anti-Cat Wall! Pictures away! Huh? Oh. 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 What is this? Hey, Brutus and Bertie made the city dirty. And Winston was with him. <coughs> Blaming innocent kitties is wrong. But Winston asked us to do it. And you listen to that big bad Winston. We're sorry. We made a mistake. 
Down with Winston! 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 Oh, poor me! Winston lost the election! No more anti cat wall! To save Meatball, you must recover the remote control! <laughs> I don't want that cat on my telescope. Boss, get him off. Uh, and while you are out there, bring me that flying gizmo and its controller. <laughs> I'm really hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. I'm in danger. <gasps> Boss is here. Fancy wings there, Meatball. I'll be taking them now. Meow. Come on, guys, this way. Bubbles? Lots of bubbles! <gasps> Buffy Brainstorm! We can get past the bubbles by jumping on them! <laughs> Thanks to our noodle power, the bubbles can't trap us! <laughs> we have to hurry! Meatball can't hang on for much longer! <laughs> Follow me! We're all climbing up there! Milady! Pilu! Lambo! Help! <laughs> Too late, fellas! I'll take this! Pilu! Catch! <laughs> Got it! Brilliant teamwork! Milady, the controller, please! <laughs> Oh no! Help! Oh no! Help! We have to gain altitude. Gotcha! That was great. You guided his wings perfectly with that remote. Actually, I wasn't able to catch the remote control, and it broke. Wow. So, then Meatball... <gasps> He's the first flying cat in history for real! There you go. Safe and sound. Uh, I guess I should say thanks. No worries, boss. See you later. <laughs> Trick or treat! Hmm? Oh, hi, Winston. Here's a treat for you. <laughs> Thanks, Alfredo. <laughs> More precisely, it's a cat treat. <laughs> Getting candy is harder than I thought, boss. Hey, what's in there? That's my boss! I'm sure you took this from those ratty cats! You learned from the best! Meatball, now it's your turn to help me trick or treat. Oh, do I really have to, Azata? Come on, Meatball, it's gonna be fun! Trick or treat! Oh, what a cute witch and a good kitty. I have something for you. These are my special chocolates. What's the matter, kitty? You don't like them? I'm sorry, but I don't have anything else. Not even a kitty treat. I gave my last one to Winston. <sighs> oh, what a great Halloween night. I'll stuff myself with candy. Hey, who's bothering me so late at night? Winston, I knocked 
knocked on your door with a special trick or treat just for you. Why? What did I do? You kept all the candy for yourself, and I am here to get it back. I am the Halloween monster, the three headed monster. Make it treats! All of them! I won't eat candy anymore! I won't eat candy anymore! I won't eat candy anymore! The Halloween monster! Nice teamwork, Buffy Cats! Treats for everyone! <laughs> thank you, Azata. And thank you, Halloween Monster! <laughs> <laughs> Not only does she keep those four noisy cats, now she thinks she's an artiste. But I have a foolproof plan. I'll trick my good and naive old friend, Abdul. He'll help me get rid of that house once and for all. <laughs> Winston, my friend, thank you so much for inviting me. I came straight away with my camel, Katali. Abdul, my friend, I called you because I want to build an art gallery to display all your masterpieces. That's so nice of you. It will be a giant art gallery in this tiny shopping mall I'm planning to build. It will actually be a tiny art gallery in a giant shopping mall. You know my neighbor, Granny Pina, has a great painting, but she doesn't think it's worth being displayed. <laughs> hey, be nice, you. Tell me, Winston, where can I find this painting? Right in that pretty house. Could you help me convince her, Abdul? She just needs to sign this paper, then we can display the painting. Okay, let me see. Oh, uh, look here, Abdul. A uh, boss did it. <laughs> Lovely. It seems Katali likes it as well. Please, Abdul, after me. If Granny Pina signs, I'll finally bulldoze her house. <laughs> By now, Abdul must have gotten Granny Pina to sign the paper. So I can tear down the house. Winston, what are you doing in my garden? Step aside, Granny Pina, or the house will fall on your head when I knock it over. Winston, my friend, you can't tear down this house. It's a work of art. I do not need an art gallery anymore. I will exhibit my art collection here. And, and what about the paper? Didn't Granny Pina sign it? No, Winston. This is no longer necessary. <gasps> Let's get out of here. Now that the house is safe, we have to do something for all our furry fellows who helped us. Right, Lampo. Let's put on a big concert for them. Here? But there's no stage to play on. Only because you haven't seen what our Buffy Mobile can do. <laughs> Winston is playing golf. Another one. I'm a champion, right, my beloved boss? Make room for Winston, the golf champion. Applause, please. <laughs> Winston, a champion? 
Huh. Uh, shut it, Buffy losers. Winston and I are top-class golfers. No, you're a top-class braggart. Hmm. I've even set up a tournament to prove how good I am. A golf tournament? Good, count me in. It's a tournament for champions only, and you are not a golf champion. <laughs> you're not inviting me because you're afraid to lose. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not inviting you because you don't know how to play. <laughs> Take it easy, Lampo. When you learn how to play golf, Boss will invite you. But I already know how to play, Milady, and I'll prove it. This challenge has to be the most difficult of all. We both have to shoot for a hole in one. But the ball has to pass Scratching Post Tower. Perfect. And we'll both hold our clubs with our tails. <laughs> Pause awesome shot. Great, boss. <laughs> Let's see what you can do. I've never held a club with my tail before. Lampo, remember your catastic shot playing tail off? Take aim, but not with your eyes. Using your cat-like senses is wise. What is he doing? Teeing off with his eyes closed? <laughs> well done, Lampo! Well, well done, done Lampo. Lampo! Shut up! <laughs> I'm the Gold Cat Champion! <laughs> but it was your advice that let me win, Meatball. And I already know how to thank you. <gasps> Those ratty cats! My villa is too exclusive to abide such noisy neighbors. Granny Pina's cats are not refined like my boss here. <coughs> but the time has come. I'll get my revenge for all this unruly behavior. I had a device built for me, the perfect spy to lure those ratty cats into a trap. <coughs> you scaredy cat, it's not real. It's just a plastic robot dinosaur. Ooh, curiosity will catch those ratty cats. They will come close and we will spy on them, thanks to the built-in video camera. It appears to be a simple toy at first, but I can control it remotely. Greetings, boss. I can make him say whatever I want. And use it to teach Granny Pina's cats a lesson. But not today. We'll have fun with the dinosaur tomorrow. My favorite movie is on TV tonight, The Were T-Rex. Missing it would be unacceptable. Hey, little dinosaur. Why wait till tomorrow? You and I can have fun today. <laughs> mm, nothing doing. I can't control it anymore. Boss! The Were T-Rex is chasing us! Boss, where are you? This is your favorite part. Oh, oh no! We're lost! <laughs> if Winston finds out what I did, I can kiss my favorite kitty treats goodbye for at least a month. Uh, better act like nothing happened. The way a T Rex is sleeping. <laughs> Quick, let's get out of here. <sighs> I think we're safe. Um, here you are. This is the scary part. Ah! Ah! He's awake and he's staring huh? at us. Edison, can you fix this dinosaur? Uh, just a sec. I'm working on my receiver. Bad dinosaur. He has to go back to his owner. He played too many tricks on us. Don't worry, Buffy Cats. I have reprogrammed him. He'll go back home safe and sound. <laughs> Can 
Can you imagine Winston and Boss's reaction when they see him back home? Oh no! He found us! Oh, the where T-Rex is here! It's over! Lasciate avvicinarvi a casa mia, oppure io, Winston, vi catturerò con le trappole! Ogni notte lo stesso concerto di gatti miagolanti e ogni mattina sono costretto ad avere davanti agli occhi quell'orrenda catapecchia! Oh, è talmente brutta e nauseante! Io la detesto, la detesto, la detesto! Ah hmm. oh beh, però finalmente oggi tutto questo finirà! <ride> La proprietaria, questa è casa mia! Ehi, hey, uh, Winston, non avevi detto che la casa era abbandonata? Sì, certo! Ed è anche... infestata! La nonnina è un fantasma! Un puzzolente e ripugnante fantasma! Huh? <ride> Milady, il tuo pelo è diventato rosa! Sì, Winston sta mentendo! Ah! Micette, voi teneteli occupati. Io devo andare a prendere una cosa. Ehi, hey, sbaglio, è appena scomparsa. Oh, allora la nonnina è davvero un fantasma. Oh. 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 Ah. Visto? Ha anche evocato i suoi malvagi gatti fantasma. Oh no, fermati, sono allergico ai fantasmi. Oh, un micetto cattivo. Oh, sai che sei davvero carino! Talmente carino che devo per forza obbedirti! No! Tu devi obbedire soltanto a me! <ride> e ora distruggete tutto! Dai un'occhiata, Winston! Questo è il documento di proprietà! E vuol dire... Che casa mia! Il documento è vero. Significa che la casa è della nonna fantasma. Io sono Winston e faccio tutto quello che voglio! Uh, non senza quel documento. No, oh, 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 no, tornate qui! <ride> Bene. Grazie a questo la casa della nonnina è nostra e domani ci occuperemo di raderla al suolo! <ride> Poi finalmente consegneremo i gatti pulciosi alla calappia gatti! Ti meriti una bella ricompensa! Ora andrò in quel fantastico negozio per animali e comprerò una soffice lussuosa, lettiera, adatta al tuo delicatissimo sederino! <ride> Dobbiamo riprenderci subito quel documento! No! La casa di Winston è piena di trappole, quindi dobbiamo farci invitare! Mm. Oh, ah. 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 E i miei baffi indicano di là! Ok, e secondo i baffi come dovremmo farci invitare? Con una baffi festa! Suonate subito il baffi allarme! Chiamate tutti i nostri amici amici! Più forte, c'è 
servono più gatti! Beh, dovrebbe bastare! Oh? Oh. Solo due! Dovremmo essere 44, polpetta! Oh. I Boom Boom Snapper sono qui! Sembrerà di essere migliori! Dove sta la fiesta? Invece ce la faremo, lo abbiamo visto scrivere dal tuo umano Ehi hey boss, pulisciti alla fiesta Ehi hey, tutti fuori, ce l'ho, eccolo, ho preso il documento della nonna No! Hanno preso quello sbagliato! Ah! Uh, grazie mille per averlo preso al posto nostro! Adesso la casa appartiene di nuovo a Nonna Pina! Lampo ha lasciato che tu facessi tutto il lavoro sporco! È sola soletta? Beh, perché Lampo non conosce il mio fu! Io sì, boss! Ti avranno pensato fosse un loro giocattolo Ma è meglio mettere le cose in chiaro È mio! The Superhero Cat Get it, lady? You're doing peeling? Young Bug is the best game ever! Ball of Wool incoming, Snoogie! Sorry, I wasn't ready That's because you're super lazy. Yarn ball isn't for me. <laughs> yeah, nap ball is your favorite game. Yep, on my blanket. Check out my flying super flip. Uh oh, he landed in Winston's garden. So what? Was it dangerous or something? Totally. It's full of traps. Oh, my meatballs! I'm in Winston's garden! <laughs> This is harder than playing yarn ball! Real! We have to save Polpetta! 
It's time for Snoogie to become... <laughs> the Masked Cat! Helicopter Tail! Hey! That's the Masked Cat! <laughs> oh, he's flying! To rescue Meatball! Oh, Meatball! I'll save you! The Masked Cat! It's really you! Grab on! <laughs> How did you know I was here? A superhero always knows when his furry fellows are in danger. <laughs> Get ready for a soft landing. <laughs> Good thing it was a soft landing. <laughs> You're our favorite super cat. We want to be heroes just like you. There's danger on the double. He's a plan so brave and true. From a tower, you are falling, and there's nobody around. Don't be worried, he's arriving, and I'll take you to the ground. Everything he's gonna see from the branch of a big tree. Here comes the mighty hero. All thanks to my super cloak. Look, I'm Super Meatball. <laughs> I'm okay, Masked Cat. <laughs> you can't fly if you don't have my super cloak. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. But fear not, any cat can become a super cat. Oh, oh, really? Tell okay. us how. Do you have masks? We have the ones from Carnival. Good, Lampo. Now, each of you think up a super name and strike a super cat pose. Uh, uh, I'm Hypercat. Uh, and I am Star Kitten. Introducing Fluffy Cat. Meow, watch out. Super Meow is here! I must go now. Keep practicing, and you'll be real super cats in no time. The masked cat could probably even turn super lazy Snoogie into a superhero. Snoogie, did you see the masked cat? I don't think hmm? so. <laughs> A superhero must never reveal his secret identity to anyone. <sighs> Luckily, my furry fellows didn't notice anything. <laughs> it's getting so late. I better go home and get some sleep. That's Birdie the cat catcher. Not good. Here comes a stray cat for the caption. <laughs> Come closer, you ratty cat. Let me introduce you to Ms. Grabber. This looks like a job for the masked cat. <laughs> Your straying days are over, stray cat. Hey, a 
the cat is meowing. Uh-oh. I'm really hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. That means there's danger nearby. Let's go outside and take a look. <laughs> Emma! Birdie and Brutus, the cat catchers. They're working together now? And they caught Snoogie! Uh, his blanket! No! It's the masked cat's cloak! No, it's Snoogie's blanket. Hmm. You're both right. This is both the cloak and the blanket. Huh? Oh! So that means... Snoogie is the masked cat! We've got a chance to save our superhero. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? My whiskers are telling us that the cat catchers haven't gone far. <laughs> there! Huh? We have to free Snoogie before they pull away. <laughs> Muffy cats! How did you find me? A superhero always knows when his furry fellows are in danger. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be safe and sound in no time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't move! Oh, Brutus, give it more gas! Cat escaped! <laughs> I couldn't have escaped without your help. We could never abandon you, Snoogie. Or maybe we should call you the Masked Cat. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Meow. My fur changed color. I have the impression someone's just told a lie. Okay, it's true. I'm the masked cat. But please, promise you won't reveal my secret identity to anyone. Trust us. Your secret is safe with the Buffy Cats. Uh oh. I'm really hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. Trouble's coming. Uh. The cat catchers. We need the masked cat. Leave this to me. <laughs> 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 no cat escaped from Birdie's Miss Grabber. Oh, so sweet. Let's move. My power won't last for long. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, where are we? Oh, yes, of course. No cat escapes from Brutus's Mr. Claw. <laughs> Don't those two ever give it a rest? Hmm. <laughs> I know how to stop them. <laughs> You get Miss Grabber off me first! <laughs> That'll keep those two busy for a while. <laughs> Over here, Melody. <laughs> Looks like you're back to being the laziest cat in town. <laughs> yeah, that chase really tired me out. And now, the Super Cat Super Meow will perform his super flip. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Good old Meepo, you never change. 
Nope. Today I'm not clumsy. I'm super clumsy! <laughs> <laughs> Lady, Pilu, I've just had a Buffy brainstorm for our costume party. Hi, Lampa. Tell us everything. We're all ears. What do you say we dress up as ourselves? What? You are the super possum mask of the Buffy cats. Look, I'm Lampo. I'm a lady, an expert in cat food. Yeah! And I'm sweet as honey Pilu. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but where's Meatball? I just saw him in the treehouse. He's probably having a snack. Come on, let's go get him so we can all have fun together. Meatball, where are you? Make way for the world's biggest cat. King Cat! <laughs> what was that? Ah! Hey, do you like my costume for the party? Your what? My mask! I dressed up as King Cat! Meatball, you gave us a little bit of a scare! All right, my furry fellows, it will be a puffy party anyway! <laughs> <laughs> Cat can become a super cat. Oh, oh, really? Tell okay. us how. Do you have masks? We have the ones from Carnival. Good, Lampo. Now, each of you think up a super name and strike a super cat pose. Uh, uh, I'm Hyper Cat. Uh, <laughs> and I am Star Kitten. Introducing. Fluffy Cat! Meow! Watch out! Super Meow is here! Meow! I must go now. Keep practicing, and you'll be real Super Cats in no time. Found you. <gasps> the hundredth ninja orangutan! That's me! And I'm here to defeat you, Meowpaw! 
You're so predictable, Meow Paw. I know every move of your frog style. The frog tongue is mine. No! We gotta help Meow Paw. Leave it to me. Hello, Master Kato. After the hard training that you did, in the final Cat Fu show, you'll have to commit. Final show? What does that mean? Each of you will perform a Cat Fu style, and all together, a routine you will try. Pilu, you will do Ladybug style. Delicate and controlled, it achieves every goal. Lampo, you'll do Dragonfly style. Instinctive and fast, the surprise ending sublast. Meatball, you'll do Bumblebee style, strong and winning, with its bonbon spinning. Milady, you'll do the bee style, determined and gentle, precision physical and mental. Meowpa had no way to escape. The orangutans had him cornered. Was he going to face them or give up? He could fight with the frog tongue and use his battle cry. <laughs> Meowpa decided to face them. He knew Cat Fu moves better than anyone else. His frog style was legendary, unique, absolutely unbeatable. That day, Meow Paw fought against 99 ninja orangutans. <gasps> and with that battle, Grandpa became a cat fool legend. <laughs> Master Kato, we need you. Hmm? Hmm. Be calm, milady. I have ears to hear, and I have been listening. This must be the disciple. What is his talent? Danger sense whenever he's hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. Are you ready? There is but one steep way to the secrets of Cat Fu. I have to climb up there to learn Cat Fu? Look at the positive side. The way back down will be easy and fast. Cat Fu is the art of agility and speed. Follow my steps. Wow. Use your imagination. Be unpredictable. Wow. Have courage. Every obstacle is an opportunity to improve. Watch me. Whoa! That was the leap and bounce move. Let's see what you can do. Well, I don't think... You can do it! Okay. Hmm. Oops, sorry. Every obstacle is... Come on! Ever tries to clamp you, do the freaked out flip. Meow! 
to work on the flip. Meatball, now you try. I can't do it, m'lady. My bonbon is too big. Your bonbon is strong. You can do a flying bonbon attack. Flying? Uh, I can barely jump. Come on, Meatball, try. <laughs> jump! <laughs> <laughs> Because I wanted to reach the ultimate mastery of cat foo. Your progress in cat foo is most impressive, milady. Thank you, Master Kato. I think I'm ready. I'll face any challenge to achieve the ultimate mastery of cat foo. Wise words. But one obstacle lies in your path. You must defeat the Super Ninja. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nimble as a cat, quick as a cat, and stealthy as a cat. But he's not a cat. How can I defeat him? Brute force can't win, if that's your aim. You have to beat him at his own game. All right, Super Ninja. It's just the two of us. Headlock! That was easier than I thought. Kato, hmm. how can I win? Brute force can't win, if that's your aim. I'll have to beat him at his own game. Congratulations, milady. By defeating the Super Ninja White Orangutan, you achieved ultimate mastery of Cat Fu. <laughs> That's because Lampo doesn't know Cat Fu. I do. <laughs> I'm going to teach you cat foo in order to bring out the best in you. Me not thirsty you now. Cat foo is the most ancient of the feline arts. It will teach you to control your power to start. Master Kato wants you to complete the obstacle course run. And the glass must stay full until you are done. Understand. <laughs> <laughs> You are ruining my obstacle course! Ah, 
bad, bad, very bad. See, the glass is full. Mm. Igor did it. Yes! <laughs> Grandpa, I want to learn frog style. You might get confused during the show, milady. Don't worry, Grandpa. I won't. If you insist. start to crow, hanging around the Old West can be dangerous because you could come across some unfortunate encounters. I finally tracked you down. Meatball <laughs> Joe, the most notorious outlaw of the Wild West. But your luck has finally run out. <clears throat> Surrender! <clears throat> you don't really think it's so easy to catch me, do you, Sheriff Lampo? <laughs> I never go far without my loyal gang. This way, Meatball Joe. Let's go! <laughs> Yahoo! Sheriff Lampo rounds up the outlaws again. I wonder who's playing the saloon owner this year. Hey there! Who's in charge of this here saloon? You're looking at them, rattlesnakes. What's in the bag? We'll take it off your hands. <laughs> it must be heavy. Boss, you might run this here watering hole with blister and scab, but you'll never get your paws on these here treats. They're not for you. They're for all the cats of Meow City. <laughs> Let's ride, cowboys. <laughs> Those Buffy cats are worse than prairie dogs. I must have those treats, by hook or by crook. My furry fellows, I've got a Buffy brainstorm. Let's bring these treats to the sheriff's office. Yeah, Lampo. After all, the two of us always play the sheriffs, so we can make sure no one eats them before the party. Later, sheriffs. <laughs> Limpo, who are these two ugly mugs? I don't know, Meatball. Hey, strangers, take your boots and go. <sighs> hey, buddy, do we have boots? No, Darren, keep sleeping. Uh, Yee-haw! Huh? Quit yapping and put your paws in the oh, sky, me. cowboy. Well, I'll be corralled. What manner of cats are you? We're cowboy cats like you. My name is Meatball, and this is Lampo. <sighs> I'm Buddy, and the big talker in the cell is my brother, Darren's. Howdy, cowboys. We need to lock these treats in the sheriff's office. Can you please leave? Uh, nope, cause we're the new sheriffs. We were here first. <laughs> <laughs> well said, Darren's. But Lampo, we've always been the sheriffs. You listen up. Meow City ain't big enough for four sheriffs. What do you say we compete for the Sheriff Star? A game to see who's the most sheriffy sheriff. Oh, my meatballs. This is getting serious. Cowboys, we've got our game's first contest already. Aim true with your banana. And throw it straight into your partner's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right challenge for us. What do you say, buddy? Mm, buddy doesn't care. Buddy? 
If we're the sheriffs, we'll be watching over all those crunchy treats. On second thought, I'm game for this banana game, Darrence. Huh? <sighs> A sheriff's gotta be fast on the paw. Sure enough. They call me the fastest paw in the West. Quit messing around and take aim, Darrence. Oh, oh, there you go. Mm, was that so hard? I like this game. Go, Lampo, hit the target. <laughs> oh, look, I found a corn cob. Huh? Yum, looks delicious. Well, I'll make it on the first try. <laughs> oh, 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 good cat, you did it. No, I wanted to eat it. Pretty fast for a rookie. It ain't over till it's over. There are two more contests to go. Blister, scab, you realize no one's watching the sheriff's office right now. <laughs> right, boys, and I'm sure you got a plan. Naturally, scab, follow me. <laughs> Whoever can eat a whole pan of these super spicy beans wins the second contest. A sheriff's gotta have a stomach of iron. Um, hey, buddy, um, you're too slow. No, mm, no. Yeah, go on. I'll give you a whistle when I'm done. Uh. Awesome! These beans were super spicy. How did you eat the whole pan? Thanks, Meatball. You roasted my corn. Our last contest is a test of strength. Pilu and I braided this rope for a possum tug of war. Come on, Meatball. If we win this, we'll be the sheriffs. Ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, will you lend me a paw or what? <laughs> oh no, we lost! Hey, Mayor Igor, award Buddy and Durance the winners! Meow City, have new sheriffs this year! No need for the long faces, cowboys. Anyone can lose sometimes, right, buddy? There's always someone stronger. That goes for me, too. Come on, let's have a toast with some milk. Stop! We're out of milk! No problem. Even without milk, we can celebrate our new sheriffs with a nice country ballad. <laughs> no gas! The piano is broken! Okay, boss. And now, everybody out of my saloon. There's a private party, and you're not invited. Okay, buddy. Let's go be sheriffs. Check on the treats. Now then, see you around, sheriffs. Ha! <laughs> Let's go stuff ourselves with all those crunchy treats. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What rattlesnakes ate all the treats in the sheriff's office? It's a heist! All the cat treats are gone! Help! Cowboys, run! Hurry! We've got a problem! Someone stole the treats! Now don't just stand there. Call the sheriffs! Uh, you know, buddy, we are the sheriffs. You're lying like rattlesnakes, sheriffs. You ate the treats. Hmm, we did not. I'm sure I'd remember if I had. Uh, Look, there are still treats in your hats. Uh, mm. 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 Oh. This is no fun. We have no music, the sheriffs aren't sheriffs, and now we don't have any treats either. Our Wild West party is ruined. 
We have to find the treats and the bandits. After all, we're sheriffs, buddy. Wait! Meatball and I want to lend you a paw. And how could you help us? My whiskers are telling us both the bandits and the treats are inside the saloon. Boss, you said there was no milk not long ago. No milk for you, cowboys. <laughs> and why haven't you fixed the piano yet? Who said you could play that? <laughs> you filled the milk bottles with cat treats. <laughs> it's full of cat treats. Uh, here's the loot! Boss Blister and Scab are the bandits! <laughs> yes, at night. All our cat treats have been up and disappearing. It happened three nights in a row. Hmm, three nights. Ah! That sign, it moved by itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it moved by itself, or someone moved it. There's an old Meow City folktale oh. about the witch cat. They say she steals cat treats from behind street signs. But I don't believe in folktales. Neither do I. Witch or not, how could one cat carry so many cat treats? With this here train. After each heist, the train left by itself, <laughs> loaded with cat treats, then came back completely empty. Pilu, do you want to go check it out? Is, is it dark in there? Yes, but you can use your flashlight. I have to be brave. If the culprit was on the train, then he must have left a clue somewhere. <gasps> a clue! Look, the culprit left a piece of yellow fabric. Maybe it belongs to the infamous Wear Bunny. Wear Bunny? the fastest paw in Meow City. According to folk tales, it makes bowls of cat treats vanish whenever someone tries to eat them. Or it could have been the alien with one eye. It comes in a flying barrel and beams up all the cat treats. But we don't believe in folk tales. Right, buddy? Oh, okay. Uh, can, can we see where you keep the cat treats? Of course. Follow us. They're safe inside my office. Excuse me, buddy. I think you meant to say our office. You want to be more sheriff more than I do? We're both the sheriffs. Even though I'm smarter. And I'm bigger and stronger. Huh? Okay, buddy. Don't get mad now. That's not buddy. It sounds like the rumble of thunder. Weird. I don't see any clouds. Three nights, a piece of fabric, mysterious rumbling. I think I know who the culprit is. But we better check the cat treats first. The culprit may strike again. Here's the sheriff's office. Is, is it dark in there? Yes. You can use your flashlight, Pilu. I have to get over my fear. This is my chance to catch the culprit. Um, everything seems quiet. <gasps> that rumbling again! The treats are gone! We were too late! The culprit was already here! Hilo, what do we do now? <gasps> to the train! We gotta stop it before it leaves! What if we don't make it? You can still cut her off at the bridge or the canyon. With our horses. You gotta put in a bit of energy to tame them. But once you do, they'll shoot off like arrows. If you need an energy boost, we can have a snack. With, With Granny, Granny Peanut's Noodles! The secret's in the noodles. Good luck, the 
Perfect Dance. Too late. The train has already left. But if we hurry, we can still cut her off. Let's split up. I'll head to the bridge while you go to the cannon. And most importantly, bring a hamburger. A hamburger? Gotta get to the locomotive. His tummy's been grumbling these past three nights. So, he came looking for treats in Meow City. The piece of yellow fabric was proof that Meatball had been on the train. Sorry, I'm still hungry. That also explains the sound of thunder. Thank you, Detective Pilu. You solved a mighty mysterious mystery. Let's celebrate with a song. The second trial is gonna be pole climbing. First one at the top takes the ball. But I'll win, cause I'm a cat. Ready, go! Run, up, 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 up. I'm going down. This is easier than I thought. I gotta do this. I got the yard ball! I won! Well done, Zoe. Did you have fun? Um, yes. You could say that. I didn't. I thought I'd win. But I lost. We, we lost, lost too, Terry. Because you have real fun when everyone is having fun. Okay, Pilu. The yarn ball is yours now, Zoe. Choose your trial carefully. Okay, follow me. Our third trial will be a dog sled race. Reach the finish line first, win the yarn ball. I'm not so sure this will be fun for everyone. Remember, Zoe, all that matters is... I know, m'lady. All that matters is a strong start. Hmm. <laughs> Ready? Go! <laughs> oh, no! I'm out of the race! Zoe, what I wanted to tell you was, all that matters is having fun, not winning. <laughs> 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 Oh, my meatballs! Wow! Burst! 
You won, Sushi. <laughs> but are you sure everyone had fun? Well, uh, yes. <laughs> Remember? You have real fun when everyone's having fun. <laughs> You're, You're right, right Meepo. Now the ball is yours, Sushi. What's our next trial? <laughs> I have an idea that'll be fun for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Blister, Bucky's right where we want him. Let's play a little trick on him. <laughs> hey, we'll turn off the lights. Help! <sighs> 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 oh, the fire station alarm. Bucky got. Did you hear that? Someone's in danger! <laughs> I'll be a perfect fire cat this time for sure! Oh no, Buffy Cats! We have to follow Terry! If the firefighters are here, there has to be someone to save! Help! Huh? Help me out! We should hurry and find who it is. It must be here! <laughs> But I can't hear! The fire alarm is too loud! Great! The alarm finally stopped! Help! Oh, my whiskers! What a scream! You heard it too, didn't you? It's Bucky's voice! Don't worry, Bucky. We'll get you out of there. A puppy is barking from under that pile of tires. Leave this to us, cutie pies. Now the firefighters will see me in action. I'll slip through the tires and save Bucky. Uh, wait, Terry. Only a cat can fit through such a small space. Terry, the terrific in action! Yeah! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you, Scab? Uh -huh. Terry is a lot of fun. <laughs> Are you okay, Terry? Come on, let's move these tires and set them free. <laughs> You're free, puppy. No, I messed up again. I'll never be a firefighter cat. I mean, I'm already a cat. No! But not a fire cat. No. Relax, Terry. We can learn from our mistakes. Thanks, m'lady. I just have to make more mistakes. No, Terry. You have to learn. Okay, Lampo. Let's find someone else to save. Dogs, go figure. <laughs> Sushi just gave me a puppy brainstorm. Why don't we welcome Granny Pina back, Japanese style? Great idea, m'lady. Leave it to me. In Japan, there are cat cafes where cats and humans relax and eat together. We will make Granny Pina a special meal. Oh, yes, yes, yes! We'll make sushi! But I can't eat a friend, especially a new friend like you. <laughs> oh, no, Meatball. Uh -huh. Sushi is a kind of Japanese food. Uh -huh. I named my little dog Sushi after my first trip to Japan. And now I'm gonna teach you how to make sushi. To win the ball, I challenge you to a game of fetch. Watch out though, I'm the best. The four of us will run from one ramp to the next. The Buffy Cats will throw the ball. As we jump the ramps, we have to grab the balls in the air and take them back to the Buffy Cats. Whoever fetches the most wins the yarn ball. Ready? First throw! <laughs> Helps Igor train better. Uh, sorbet or ice cream, Zoe? <laughs> A 
there's four green balls. Terry, you were the only one who brought back all your balls. I win the yarn ball! It's my turn to choose a trial. But I thought I'd win, though. You can't win on your own, but winning together is the most fun. Now the yarn ball is in your paw, Terry. Choose something fun for everyone. Hmm. Huh? Ooh. Meatball, why are you crying? I don't know. Uh, wait, I'm not crying. He is. Huh? <laughs> hey, little puppy, what's wrong? Oh, oh, my humans left the gate open. I snuck out, uh, and then some bad cats started chasing me. And so uh, I ran, and now I'm lost. <laughs> don't worry, we'll get you home. What's your address? Uh, I don't know. Well, what did your neighborhood look like? <laughs> Oh, well, my my yard had a big wooden fence, and I couldn't see anything from behind it. Could you hear what? anything? Oh, yes. It was like loud cat meowing. That's why I ran here. Oh, really? I think I know where you live. Follow me. You're not going uh. anywhere. That's the puppy we're chasing. Mm. Boss, blister, and scab. Hmm. The cuckoo cat comes out and meow. Huh? I don't know. I'd have to hear the sound. Oh, the cuckoo cat isn't going to meow again for almost an hour. An hour? Oh, I can't wait that long. My mom's going to be so mad at me. Well then, let's bring forward the cuckoo. <laughs> and Zoe. Uh, do I have to play? I don't want this mud to get my fur dirty. Ugh. And the Meow Meows, <laughs> Meatball and Pilu. Lampo and I will be the referees. <laughs> and remember, to win, you've got to work as a team. more than having fun as a team. And I'm so disappointed I'm even getting hungry. Meatball, you're always hungry. You're right. I'm so sorry. I'll make it up to Bucky. Where is he? <laughs> My whiskers are telling us Bucky's in Winston's garden. 
Winston? Who's that? A very bad man, living in a place full of traps. <gasps> then let's go save my little bro! <laughs> You practicing your high dive? So where is Bucky? Help me, Zoe! Get me out of here! He's trapped in one of Winston's floating bubble traps! Hold on! We're coming to save you! <laughs> Watch out, Bucky Cat! More bubbles! Run! Those ratty cats never learn! Now my bubbles will trap them! <laughs> Time to unleash one of my trappies. Oh. Jump, Zoe! Oh. Are you hurt, Meatball? I'm getting used to it. Emergency! Trappy on the loose! <laughs> Hey, dog friend! Hello, dog friends! Danger! Danger! Feline intruders! I'll turn that bad robot pooch into a softie! Uh... Ooh! How sweet and cute! The effect won't last forever! Hurry up and save Bucky! Ah! Uh... They stopped my trappy, but they won't escape my cages. Helps me concentrate. Hooray! This treat and your chicken will help us save Bucky. Great idea, sis.
Ben's dog, Terry. He's <laughs> so excited to meet you. My friend is out of town and Terry needs company. Terry loves kitties, so I took him here to play with you. <laughs> Terry Settle. I know you'll be nice to sweet little Terry. Have fun. I'll be home by dinner. Terry, sit. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Let's get out before he sees us. <laughs> Come on, guys. This way, Terry will never be able to come in. Reach <laughs> out. Huh? How did you find us? Don't you guys like to play? Yeah, we love playing games like cats, not like dogs. But cats are just like dogs. Huh? No, we're not. Yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> we all have four paws, fur, and a tail. We eat treats, we take naps, and we live with humans. <gasps> He's right. We are like dogs. We're not, huh? Meatball. Cats and dogs are totally different. But I love kitties. I want to be your friend. You love us? Yes, of course. And I'd be so happy to be like you, to be a cat. I've got it. Terry, what if we teach you to act like a cat? So all the kitties will be your friends. Woohoo! I'm going to be a kitty. <laughs> Terry, this is how you greet a cat. Hi, I'm Lampo. <laughs> Terry, that's how dogs meet someone. And dogs wag their tails. Tail? You again! I'm gonna get you! Terry, if you're going to be a cat, you have to be cool. Get away from me. Stop, please! Chill. Terry, sit. Very good. Now, Terry, if you want to be a cat, you have to meow. Like this. Huh? No problem, Lampo. Uh, that was a bow wow. Uh, it was? Uh, can you say me? Me. Can you say ow? Ow. Say them together. Meow. Meow. <gasps> meow. <gasps> meow. 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 Oh, I want to be a dog. Terry, teach me how to bark. That's easy, Pilu. Just shout out your feelings from deep in your belly. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Once Terry's all cat-like, we'll do the tree test. <laughs> no worries, Terry. You'll be ready soon. <laughs> I meant to say meow! I'm a cat! <laughs> Go fast! In this trial, each of us will have to balance on a unicycle. What's so fun about that? We'll throw the balls at each other. And the one who stays on the unicycle longest will win the yarn ball. Okay, Sushi, sounds like a great time. I hope it works out. Everybody ready? Go! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Doing? Hi, Peppy. It's a game. <clears throat> to have fun together. <laughs> That's not fair. You should have dodged then. Look like they're having fun. I won! But I didn't have much fun. What a catastrophe! Leave it to me. I've got an idea. Terry, jump down. Hey! Jumping together is fun! I'm sure you could have even more fun doing a clown show. Would you like to do it tonight? Yay! All together! <laughs> My furry fellows, the act you've all been waiting for! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> the Clown Dog Quartet! Yeah. Will sushi be as good at dribbling as I am? Want huh. uh, uh. to see? <laughs> Beautiful! I'm on a roll! It's a dream come true! <laughs> now put your paws together for Terry the Terrific! Can he make a triple jump? Of course, Zoe! I'm a duck! <laughs> The grand finale, Bucky the Striker makes his move! Terry? Mm. Something terrible! My teeth turned brown! Oh. After I ate all the chocolate I had! Too much chocolate is bad for your tummy. And it stains your teeth. You have to brush them. Brush my teeth? How do you do that? We'll just need a toothbrush. First, squeeze out the toothpaste. Second, Turn on your toothbrush. Wow! This is fun! It's not a game, Terry. You need to get the toothbrush closer to your teeth. Huh? Like me. Third, brush your teeth. <laughs> you can rinse your mouth now. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> My teeth are white again! Thanks, Mimi! Thanks, Kilo! <laughs> <laughs> so, the test is about climbing up there? Yes! yes. Or maybe... <laughs> no, 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 no! no. no. <laughs> if you want to be a cat, you've got to learn to climb trees. <laughs> like this! Wow, Milady! You can do it, Terry! Believe in yourself! Okay! I'm a cat! I'm a cat! I'm a cat! <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah! Way yeah. to go, Terry! <laughs> I'm a cat, Milady! Now I'll jump off the branch! Look! It's dangerous! Uh, Terry! Uh, sit! No one tells cats what to do! Are you okay? 
Cats always land on their feet. Huh? Uh, how cool. A dog friend. <laughs> Meow. Pleased to meet you. Meow. You're a cat then? <laughs> Trappy, leave our friend alone. He's a dog. Danger, more cats, many cats. I must attack. No, Trappy, we are dogs. Woof, woof, woof. How cool, more dog friends. <laughs> Come on, let's save Terry and get out of here. <laughs> Boss! Huh? The Buffy Cats. Well, you may have fooled Trappy, but I actually have a brain. And I'll use it to catch your friend. <laughs> Remember, Terry, you're a kitten, so you're super Great, Terry! You were nimble as a cat! Cats everywhere! Remember, they're all enemies for you, except me! Terry, now's the time to be a dog! A dog? But will you still like me? If you're a dog right now, we will love you! Huh? <laughs> 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 Me, buddy. I'm your buddy? Of course. Wow. <laughs> hey, look at that tail lag. Tail? You think you can follow me everywhere? I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> Terry is back to being a real dog. Now he's happy. I have to get the shoe of the hero. But where am I going to find it? There it is. Oh, I'm sorry about that, girl. I didn't see you. No. Oh, are you hurt? No. Oh, your paw hurts? Maybe this baby shoe can relieve your pain. No. I was just going to put it in the old clothes bin, but I can see it's more use to you, girl. Yuck! Such a stinky shoe! Hooray! I managed to get it! <laughs> May I present the shoe of the hero? <laughs> Great! You got your first object. But Lampo brought his first object back a while ago. What? I can't lose to Lampo. I need to speed up so I can win best cat. Buffy cats, don't forget. We gotta perform the moves we learned. And we can't disappoint Grandpa. I mean, Meowpa. A perfect routine today. 
They all moved in the same way. <laughs> I'm dedicating the frog style to my grandpa, the great Meow Pa. <sighs> Lady, what are you doing? I want to show Grandpa how hard I worked. Are we done? Can we go eat now? All right, Super Ninja. It's just the two of us. Huh? Uh, headlock! That was easier than I thought. Huh? Master Kato, hmm. how can I win? Brute force can't win, if that's your aim. I'll have to beat him at his own game. Congratulations, milady. By defeating the Super Ninja White Orangutan, you achieved ultimate mastery of cat foo. <gasps> Buffy cats, I've got a Buffy brainstorm. Isn't today Creative Recycling Day? <laughs> 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 the most awesome car in the world. All aboard, Buffy Cats! Let's go! Start the propeller, Meatball! Buffy Cat, your space car is amazing! This car is fast and nimble, like a cat. Lady, help me! I can't get in. But when he sees how desperate, I mean, how talented you are, how could he say no? <laughs> <laughs> Those fools grabbed the rope. <laughs> uh, thanks for protecting the deed for us. Now Granny Pina owns the house again. And Lampo left you to do his dirty work all alone. <laughs> <laughs> Because Lampo doesn't know cat foo. I do. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a certain style. I need a special something. Aha! Found it! Check out the scarf from the Fall, Winter, Spring, Summer Milady collection. <laughs> <laughs> Milady's here, showing off her signature style for us today. Uh, 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 guys, have I got a big scoop for you. Ambrosio is in town. Uh, 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 let's take my car. It'll be faster. Jump on board. I know who can help us. <laughs> Granny said that this is the last serving left. We need to take care of it. Uh, Buffy cats, let's go visit Neko, the lucky cat. He always has lots of useful things. Happy, happy birthday, we will celebrate you all day in a magic way. What a special moment to receive a precious present that's so excellent. Oh yeah, now you feel anticipation with this sweet sensation, ready time to play. Open the So meow to go. So much better 
there, Meatball. <laughs> Milady, could you drive the Pinkie Paws home, please? Of course, Pilu. Start the propeller, Meatball. <clears throat> I can't get the propeller going. We need a push. Get in the car. I'll handle this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such a gentle cat. Here's a ticket for tonight's concert! A 44 got two rows of six to the rear. Together they line up in rows of six to the rear. The whiskers all aligned in rows of six to the rear. The tails are all in time in rows of six to the rear. What's your inspiration, Milady? The color pink. Very interesting. I'm running out of pink. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> My painting! Possum! A pink that is feeling blue. Genius, milady. Keep it up. <laughs> Thanks, La Palette. The sun is rising and he's singing, wishing you a good day, so I can say it's your birthday, Miguelito. But when the sofa and the chair are full of scratches and hair, there is a brat cat who makes tempers flare. Found it. A kitty. Ah, what a pretty kitty. You'll be happy to join the dolls' party. Smell the fragrant tea I just prepared for you. <laughs> Is this tea too strong for you, Lady Kitty? Meow. Oh, I'm happy it is to your taste, Lady Kitty. Meow. You're the only lady who really liked my tea. If you like, tea is all yours. <laughs> be a cat challenge, but till now, all the objects smell really bad. My friends. Good night, everyone. Pretty good, even though it was your first time. Just practice a bit and remember, dancing makes you happy. <laughs> Rocking the bases, Milady! <laughs>
without your help. We could never abandon you, Snoogie. Or maybe we should call you the Masked Cat. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Meow. My fur changed color. I have the impression someone's just told a lie. Okay, it's true. I'm the Masked Cat. But please, Promise you won't reveal my secret identity to anyone. Trust us, your secret is safe with the Buffy Cats. <sighs> Good point, Meatball. Nobody can beat the frog tongue. <laughs> Thanks, m'lady. It's also good for digestion. Buffy cats? Meatball? You sure you don't have more cleaning up to do? It's just that I don't like throwing away all my stuff. Tossing what you don't need is better than hiding it. Toss it? Oh. But I like it. It could be useful someday. That's true. It's not a waste if it can be reused and turned into something else. Lampo is right. The best way to keep your old stuff is to turn it into something useful and fun. <laughs> <laughs> You... you are so great. You have the best balance. Well, thank you. Hello, I'm a lady. And you? I'm Peppy. 
the great tightrope walking cat. <laughs> you know, I can do those moves too. Are you sure about that? It takes a lot of training. Sure, I've done it lots of times. Mm, let's see if you're telling the truth. <gasps> <laughs> oh no, it's not true! Peppy, watch out! Meatball. You always think about food. I have to think about training. Uh, All right, Lampo. Uh, we'll help you train. Awesome idea, my lady. I can help too. I'll eat your treats. Thanks, my furry fellows. Let's go over the list of events. First up is the yarn javelin. Sounds hard. How does it work? Easy. For distance, you have to spin three times before you throw. Oh, uh, nice shot. The second event is the kitty litter long jump. A jump? Want me to show you one from my cat food training? Run, a big leap, and then three flips. Like this. Ta-da! Got it. Let me try. We need something to mark the starting line. Huh? I run, then leap. <laughs> <laughs> no! Meepo! <laughs> you all good? More or less. The last event is the toughest one. The scratching post obstacle course. But without a course to try, I have no way to train. Stop! You're an athlete now. Oh, you just need intense athletic drills. Come with me. Now, I'll throw you donuts and you'll eat them in midair. Mm, okay, Meatball. But are you sure this training will help me? Of course. Ready? Go. <laughs> oh! Maybe not. You needed a scratching post to train on, right? Now you have one. Thanks, m'lady. Uh, I'll try it right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is easier than I thought. 
Buffy Cat. Yeah! Let's make this work out a challenge. Lambo, touch! Remember, if something throws you off balance... Three spins before you throw. That's not what I meant at all. <laughs> Olympia, you're the greatest athlete cat in history. What do you think about your competition? Competition? What competition? This is Lampo. He's also competing in the Buff Olympics. Um, hello, Olympio. May the best cat win. That'd be me. I always win the Buff Olympics. Olympio! Olympio! How rude. Maybe he's right. He's so much better than I am. Why should I even show up? What happened to all that energy? You said you wanted to give it your best shot. That's the Buff Olympic spirit. <sighs> You're right, Pilu. Thanks. Now I've got training to do. Come on, Lampo! <laughs> run, run, run! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
freezer thermometer. I just want to take your temperature. Doctor, you're going to zap me with a laser? No way! <laughs> Please, hold Lampo still. Hey! You have a slight fever. Fever? Ha, nah, I feel fine. You see? Maybe this time we'll have to do it without Lampo. Off you go. Don't worry. I will take care of Lampo. Lampo! Granny's calling you! Give me a second, Pilu. Hmm. <laughs> I'm done, Buffy Cats! Decorating for the party? I'll do anything for fun times, m'lady. Uh... <gasps> ah uh... Oh no! Lampo caught a cold! I heard that, huh? Lampo! You sneezed! Hmm. I am making you some nice vegetable soup. That should make you feel better. I'll go buy some veggies. I just want to check your throat for swelling. I'm not sick! It's so hot in here. Well, one way to get rid of a cold is to sweat it out. Granny is home. No! I don't want vegetable soup! <laughs> oh, come on, Lampo. A little veggie soup will make you feel better. <laughs> Good kitty. Good kitty. <laughs> Oh. I want to see that bowl empty when I come back. The soup stinks. Vegetable soup is supposed to be helpful to recover from a cold. What's that? It's just a prescription, Lampo. Of course, you have to eat vegetable soup. And noodles. Doctor's orders. And you better do it if you want to sing at that party. Okay, Bucky, listen to my story about the white orangutan. And then you'll understand. One day, I was taking a walk in town with no clue that danger was around the corner. The white orangutan is on the clock tower! Huh? Oh no! He's got Fleur! <laughs> this is Kay. Encircle the white orangutan. This is him. Got it. We gotta get closer. This is Z. But not too close. Uh oh. Retreat! We need an alternate means of attack. They weren't able to free Fleur. Looks like it's time for Lampo to leap into action. This orangutan has no idea who he's messing with. Lampo! Oh. Good thing you're here! Don't worry, Fleur! I'll save you! <laughs> Watch it, you white orangutan! I've got a banana, and I'm not afraid to use it! I got you! Ha. Hey, look! Hey. Lampo is a real hero! Hey. Yay! Yay. Yeah. 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 It's about time to get our feet back on the ground! Oh, Lampo! Yeah. Hello, my furry!
scary fellows? I think you already know there's a nasty, awful virus out there trying to get all of us sick. It's a little scary. But we're stronger than it is. You want to know what we can do? Follow me. Hello, my furry fellows. Today, we're going to learn to wash our hands to get rid of the virus. In a flash. First, let's put our hands under the water and get them wet. Being careful not to use up too much water. Then, let's get a few pumps of soap all over the fingers of our right hand. Let's be very careful. Let's do the same with the left hand, with the same care. Now let's rub both hands together to make a lot of foam. First, palm against palm, then back against back. The foam must cover your hands completely. Let's keep it up, my furry fellows! If we wash our hands well, we'll get rid of the virus in a flash! After about 20 seconds of that, let's rinse them one by one, removing all the foam! Very good, you guys are doing a possum job! And now, let's do the same thing with the other hand, removing all the foam! Ready? Finally, we can dry both hands! It's important to wash our hands several times a day, and every day! Remember, my furry fellows? If we wash our hands properly, we'll get rid of the virus in a flash! I'm sure I can find it. I know it's a metal. I knew it right away when I saw that drawing. Oh. But where can I find a metal? <laughs> hey, that's Terry! I wonder how he got up there. <laughs> that puppy got his collar snagged on the cuckoo clock. We have to get him down. Yeah, but how? The truck with the ladder isn't here yet. Yeah. I gotta save him. Hey, where's that cat going? <laughs> I came to save you, Terry. No need. Remember, huh? I'm a cat. I can handle this. How? What, are you going to bark your way down? And are you sure that you can climb from this height? Oh. No. No, no, not now that I think about it. Help! Oh. Hold on, Terry. Oh. Ah. 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 Oh. 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 falling. You deserve a medal, firefighter cat. A medal! This is just what I needed. <sighs> Today is so nice. Absolutely, Pilu. The only thing that could make this day better is nothing. Doing nothing. Lots and lots. Of nothing all day long. All right, Buffy Cats, let's go up and at them. Move, move, move. We can't waste this beautiful day. No thanks. We're all cool here. Come on, my furry fellows. All this quiet is getting on my nerves. We want a quiet day, Lampo. <sighs> I'm an action cat! I crave adventure! I crave to scratch with a scratching post. Got an itch on my back from this morning. <laughs> Sounds like something's happening with Boss. <laughs> At least someone's up and doing something. <laughs> Traps! Stop the intruder! <laughs> Stay still so we can trap you! Whoa! That cat is amazing! <laughs> you should have known you'd never catch me, boss. I'm not a house cat like you. <laughs> I'm an adventure cat. Just keep on talking, Big Mouth. Huh? No! Huh? I can't let him get trapped. Look out! Behind you! Uh -oh. 
Lampo too? I ain't letting them get away. I'll get you yet, Quatermain. You'll see. Great moves back there. You really showed Boss with your cat-like reflexes. Yeah, but who are you, why are you here, and how can I be like you? The name's Quartermain. I'm on a mission. And to be like me, you have to be ready for anything and eat healthy. Uh. <laughs> eat healthy, eh? <laughs> so are you a chef? Uh. I'm much more than that. I'm an archaeologist looking for artifacts like this one. The legendary collar of Nefertiti's cat. I've been looking for it for years, but it ended up in Boss's house. This collar is only the first artifact on my quest to find the greatest prize of all time, the Pharaoh Tutankhamun's treasure. This is just the first one? What are you after next? I still have to find two more artifacts. And when I have all three, I'll find Tutankhamun's treasure. We want to help, Quatermain! No matter how terrifying the danger, no matter how tough the research, the Buffy Cats were made for adventure! Completely burnt out. No more rehearsing, Lampo. We're super tired. Are you kidding, Milady? We're the Buffy Cats. We never get tired. Well, almost never. What a possum video. The day is done when you come home. He's gonna jump on the floor. Behind the door, it's your dog, very cheerful. Into the bowl, swims on patrol all day. Whirling around without a sound. What are you doing? Oh, oh, I can't say anything! Oh, ah! You see, this is not how a civilized cat should perform. Uh, Lampo, every move you make has to be up to the refined cat you are now. Their sad situation and find a good cause for celebration. A 44 cat in rows of six. just told a lie. Huh? Uh, I feel great, m'lady. The show must go on. Mm, we should call Fizby. <sighs> Fizby? The doctor cat? Oh, no way. Nope. No, uh, uh No, no, no. 
See? I feel great! I meant to do that. Lampo, you're sick. Go rest and call Dr. Fizby. You're not afraid of the doctor, are you? Afraid of the doctor? Oh, no. Me? What? No way. I love doctors. They're great. Well, I may not love doctors. I'm not afraid, however. I have the sniffles, but the party is more important. Let's re... Uh-huh! There it is! I've got it! Awesome! Oh, oh, the recipe! Come down! Oh, no, 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 no! I mean, stay there! I'll come get you! Lampo, where are you going? It's dangerous! <laughs> Hey, it's raining cats. <laughs> Don't cats always land on their feet, m'lady? <laughs> Get me up there! Higher! Lampo, stop that! We're cats, m'lady. We always land on our feet. <laughs> Almost always on our feet, sometimes also in trash cans. Buffy Brainstorm, we need a pair of wings. Right, my lady. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> uh, it's okay, little birdies. I don't want to hurt you. Lucky I still have one. Whoa! 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 Lampo is hitting the road. Here I am. In the clubhouse. But where are the other Buffy cats? Clubhouse, I'm coming. Hi, Lampo. Yeah. Oh, oh. Hey, where are Milady and Pilu? I don't know, Meatball. We should rehearse our new song. We're late. We gotta hurry up. Milady, ah! 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 Pilu, finally you're here. Sorry, Lampo. But we have a good reason. <laughs> Ready to play our new song, Buffy Cats? One, two, and a one, two, three. Hey, Lampo, what's up, m'lady? We don't have a new song. We didn't think about that. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> Let's eat Granny Pita's noodles. No, Meatball, first we need to find my furry fellows, I've got a Buffy brainstorm. We'll take inspiration from our summer holidays. But the lady, we're not going on vacation. Granny Pina left yesterday and she'll come back tomorrow. Yes, that's why we're going to create our own summer holidays. <laughs> Whoa. I might just use it like me, Paul. <laughs> okay. See, Buffy Cats? We can sit down and relax. Imagine we're at the beach. Play with the sand. And have a snack. Soon we'll find our idea for the new song. 
But in the meantime, possum holidays to everyone! Now, Lampo, you'll learn some proper eating habits. This is what civilized cats should eat. What's inside, Uncle? The only food fit for civilized cats. Caviar pate. Yuck! <laughs> oh, don't judge a book by its cover. And sit down properly, like a civilized cat. Develop your sense of smell, Lampo. Can you feel it? All the aromas of the sea are in here. <laughs> You're totally right, Uncle. Now we'll refine your palate. Come on, taste the pate. Lampo, halt! You must use your mouth. A civilized cat always has clean paws. <laughs> hey, working in the countryside sounds like fun. <laughs> Your days of freedom are numbered, cause no stray can escape Brutus! <laughs> hmm? Hmm? What? My key. Stray cats, get ready for my cage! Meow. Brutus is coming! 
<laughs> we need to get rid of him once and for all. Then we can get Tata out of her cage. <gasps> I have an idea, Pilu. I'll draw <laughs> some fake footprints on the ground. <gasps> I know you're over there. You won't escape me. Where'd they go? <laughs> I'm too smart. I'll just follow their trail. <laughs> Pew, Jenny, Scribbly, thank you. Uh, <gasps> hey, look, a little fishy is trapped in that bottle. We gotta help him. Yeah, Lampo, that little fishy has a mommy waiting for him. Bye-bye, little fishy. Huh? So, so cute. Bye-bye. I can't wait to dig in. <laughs> Not so fast, Meatball. We'll dish these out one at a time, like civilized cats. There you are, Pilu. This is for Lampo. Huh? Oh, my meatballs! What happened to my sandwich? Attention, my furry fellows. We have a mystery to solve. Mystery? What mystery? The mysterious mystery of Meatball's missing sandwich. Oh, thank you, Detective Pilu. Please find my treasure. Aha! Huh? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There's a trail. Lampo brought our sandwiches from the kitchen. Maybe he dropped some crumbs then. <laughs> A mustard smear. It's another clue. <sighs> oh, these sure are delicious clues. Mipa, <laughs> please stop eating the clues. But these clues are so yummy, and I'm so hungry. <laughs> A cat print in mayonnaise. It's mine. I put the sandwiches up there so that Meatball wouldn't eat them all while I called everyone over. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't eat all of them. The doctor said I shouldn't eat too many sardine sandwiches. Aha! Uh -huh. How did you know that they were sardine sandwiches if you didn't even taste one yet, Meatball? <gasps> yes! How did I know that? Meatball, you're our number one suspect. But Lampo just brought them in. How could Meatball eat a sandwich so fast? Huh? Hey, that was my sandwich. Mystery solved. I know where Meatball's sandwich is. Where, where is it? it? The missing sandwich is in your belly, Meatball. You ate it. Oh, Pilu, you're right. I forgot all about it. Oh, but I'm still hungry. You're a brilliant detective, Pilu. I've got a Buffy brainstorm. We can be your detective team and solve mysteries around the neighborhood. Sleep, huh? little huh? kitten, sleep, little one. Have a good nap and dream of good dreams. Like dreamy dream milk and dreamy dream cream. Your nose is sweet and so little too. Sleep, little kitty, sleep with Pilu. Sleep, little kitty, dream of a star. Sleep, little kitty, it is so far. Pilu, this lullaby is too strong. <gasps> <laughs> okay, my furry fellows. The kitty lullaby did not work. <laughs> the possumous moment of the day has finally arrived. <laughs> Snack time! <laughs> I always love my furry pops. Me too, Danny. <sighs> <sighs> My tummy's turning. I don't feel so 
good either, Pilu. Oh, it hurts. Look, here comes Mimi, the pediatrician cat. Pilu, Ginny, Bucky, I heard you call out. What happened? We were just eating our purry pops. Syrup of grossoate, mushy poultice, and rotten chaffamay? Your tummies are aching because purry pops are made with unhealthy ingredients. You better stop eating them. Uh, all right, Mimi, no snack time for us today. Yes, you can have a snack, Bucky, if you eat healthy, natural food. Come on, we'll go get a better snack. Here in the corn. Where else? <laughs> Pilu, a farm isn't a restaurant. You can't get your food ready to eat. You get it with hard work and effort. Follow me. Say hello to my Auntie Lizzie. Hello there, sweetheartie. Auntie Lizzie knows everything about parties and... Auntie, where did you go? yo -ho! Over here, Pilu. This kitty origami is fantastic. It impressed everyone at the party for Her Majesty Felix the First. Oh. Ah. Oh. How did you? But there is one thing that can never be missing at any party: catnip tea. Thanks, Auntie Lizzie. You're welcome. <laughs> catnip tea is just the thing to give you a boost when it's time to throw a party. Oh. Good night, Buffy cats. <laughs> It wasn't my tummy this time. It has to be a real storm. My furry fellows, do you mind keeping a light on? No problem, Pilu. I'll leave this lamp on tonight. <laughs> Why did you turn it off, lady? I didn't, Pilu. The storm knocked the lights out. It usually comes back pretty quick. <laughs> How long is pretty quick? Pew, what happened to you? I couldn't sleep last night with all the thunder, and the darkness was so dark. I've got a buffy brainstorm. Let's call Mimi, the pediatrician cat. Right, my lady. Hello, Mimi. We have an emergency. Could you come right away, please? Sure, Lampo. I'll be right there. Oh, Pilu, it looks like you didn't sleep at all. What happened? Well, I... there was a storm, and thunder, and then more thunder, and it was all dark. So super dark! I get it, Pilu. The storm made you afraid of the dark again. Help Pilu face her fear by distracting her. Have her use this flashlight when she feels afraid of the dark. Hey, Buffy Cats! Look what I found in the attic! <laughs> what is it, Pilu? <laughs> I don't know, but it looks like a wheel. Maybe we just have to put it like this and then uh, jump on it to make it roll. <laughs> I think it's for a jumping game. Look! You see? It's not hard. Um, Lampo, maybe that's not what we're supposed to do with it. There must be another way to play with it. Maybe like a ball. Now let me grab it, and I'll show you how it's done. Oh, my whiskers. 
Where are the brakes? I want to get off! <laughs> Meatball! <laughs> I feel like a half-digested cat treat. I wonder how this thing works. Ambrosio, Snobby, and hello, my furry fellows. Hi, Pilu. Taking Kelly for a walk? Uh, no. Actually, I'm looking for this kitten's mommy. Wow! She's so sweet. Look at those eyes. Oh, a grown-up kitty like you still uses a pacifier. Hello, <laughs> 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 oh, kitty. Do you like my mirror? Hmm? There you go. She's calm now. Kittens love playing with mirrors. Hey, Lou, you made her laugh. Yeah, but I get the feeling she'd rather just have the pacifier. See you soon, Pilu. Bye bye, kittens. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Pilu. What brings you here? Hi, Gas. I'm looking for this kitten's mommy. And what's our pretty kitty's name? I don't know. I'd like to find her mommy and maybe get her to stop using that pacifier. Good old Gas can entertain one sweet kitten. Yep. Here's a balloon filled with stink. Now, I'm gonna make it... No! Wait, Gas! Ah! <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> you see, the kitten's having fun. <laughs> You're right. And even better, she dropped the pacifier. Possum, Gas. <laughs> you don't want the pacifier anymore? You've grown up. Well done, kitty. Can you tell Pilu who your mommy is? Lola. Lola? I know her. I know where she lives. Oh. At the abandoned building. Bye, guess. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, stinky mission accomplished. Lola's house is here. Let's look for your mommy. Oh, here she comes. Oh. Look, Lola. Hope is back home. Oh. <laughs> mommy! <laughs> oh, my kitty! You don't want a pacifier anymore? No, Lola. Hope is a big kitty and doesn't need it anymore. Isn't that right, Hope? Oh. This is fantastic news. Very good, Hope. Of course. Pilu has been very good, too. You're a perfect vice mommy. Thanks for taking her home. Pilu and Hope, besties forever. And now I'll take Kelly home, too. Bye, Cop. Bye, Lola. Bye-bye, Hope. Bye, Pilu. Bye, Pilu. And thanks again. Here are the treats. Now I have to stop the train. Shouting! Everything's under control! I know who the culprit is! I just gotta wake him up gently! Ha! Uh. Oh. What a yummy hamburger! Mipa! I knew it was you! And now, let's stop the train! Uh. <laughs> Today is my birthday! Woohoo! <laughs> what? Hey, what are you doing? Who? Us? We're not doing anything special.
special, Pilu? <laughs> we're absolutely not setting up a party huh? for you. Wow. We were just thinking of a nice picnic. Awesome idea, Lambo. A picnic because today is... A nice sunny day, right? Mm -hmm. Let's, Let's have, have a party, party for, for the, the sun! sun. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Come on, Pilu. It'll be fun. How could my furry fellows forget about my birthday? Buffy cats, let's go to the park. <laughs> Come on, Buffy cats. Have a seat. <sighs> Lampo, this gift is too heavy. <gasps> <gasps> Did Meatball just say gift? I want to see the gift! Yep, it's a gift. A gift for the ants. What? A gift for the ants? Yeah, haven't you heard? Today is National Ant Day. We brought sandwiches for them. Hey, milady, did you fill them with broccoli? Um, no, I forgot. Could you go look for some broccoli? Milady, I can't stand broccoli. I love broccoli. I'll go. You're not hungry, Meatball. You're thirsty. I'm mm. not thirsty. I'm hungry. You're not hungry. You're thirsty. Drink. Okay, I'll just drink this super duper crazy triple carbonated orange soda. <laughs> to have one of my own. Sorry, I didn't find anything. Huh? Surprise! <gasps> Happy birthday, dear Pilu. Happy birthday to you. One, what's your name? My name's Pilu. Nice to meet you, Pilu. Please come in. Have a seat. What's troubling you, Pilu? My tooth is wiggly. Okay. May I have a look? Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh... Oh, it's okay, Pilu. It's perfectly normal. A loose tooth ready mm -hmm. to fall out. I don't want it to fall out. It's a baby tooth. A grown-up tooth will grow in its place. But I like baby teeth, especially mine. Then you and I will care for that tooth together. Now I must check up on the neighborhood kittens. Would you like to be my assistant? Yes! I'm so ready, Mimi. Let's go! <laughs> What's up, Baby Pie? I wanted to get the ball out of the jar, but my paw got stuck. I'll never get it out. I'll have a paw in the jar forever. Don't worry, Baby Pie. We'll just cool the jar and free your paw. <gasps> I've got a Buffy brainstorm. Let's go see Cream, the ice cream maker cat. Possum idea, Pilu. Don't worry, Baby Pie. We'll solve this problem in a minute. Hey, you even helped your baby tooth fall out. <gasps> My tooth! It's in the glass! You were right, Mimi! It fell out on its own. I'm getting to be a big girl cat! 
You're a big girl cat already. And a possum assistant. Thank you. I'll run and tell the Buffy cats. Bye. <sighs> Look, my furry fellows. My baby tooth fell out. Buffy cats, after this super rehearsal, tonight's concert is gonna rock. Sure, Lampo. But let's finish with a big drum roll courtesy of Pilu. You got it, m'lady. But where is Pilu? Make way, Buffy cats! Buffy Cats, are you ready for tonight's concert? More than ready, Pilu. My solo is gonna rock! No, no, Lampo. I'm talking about Cherry, Lolly, and Betty's Possum Concert. They're the Pinkie Paws, my favorite cat pop band. Can we go, please, please, please? M'lady, how can we say no to her? All right, Pilu. We'll take you to the Pinkie Paws concert. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Isn't the concert tonight? Well, yeah, Lampo. But in a few minutes, the Pinkie Paws are having a meet and greet for their fans at the park. I can't miss it! Let's take my car. It'll be faster. <laughs> Start the propeller, Meatball! <laughs> All this waiting around is making me hungry. Oh, hi, Gas. You're here too? Yep. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the Pinkie Paws as well. Welcome to the Pinkie Band's meet and greet. We have a surprise for you today. Would you like to spend the entire day hanging out with the Pinkie Paws? Great. But let's see if you can handle our trivia question. <gasps> what is the Pinkie Paws? Favorite food. Me! I know it! Oh, 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 me. Ah, fish pate! Not too salty! <sighs> That's correct! Pilu! Does that mean I win? Yes, Pilu! You won an entire day with the Pinky Pod! <laughs> Cherry, Lolly, Betty. What do you think of your fans, Pinkie Paws? You're all beautiful! Yeah! Now, Pilu, our stars will hang out at your house today. Hello, Kitty Cat. Will you help us prep for tonight's concert? Of course I'll help! And my furry fellows, too! Cherry called me Kitty Cat! So exciting! <laughs> Your car awaits to take you to our house. Milady, could you drive the Pinkie Paws home, please? Of course, Pilu. Start the propeller, Meatball. <clears throat> I can't get the propeller going. We need a push. Get in the car. I'll handle this. <laughs> <laughs> First row! Wow! Did you see how generous they are? My whiskers are over the moon! An entire day with Cherry, Lolly, and Betty! I'm happy for <laughs> you, Pilu. And we'll do our best to make them feel welcome. Milady Meatball is in danger! <laughs> Pilu, Milady, follow me! Lampo, help! Find yourself in a sticky situation? <laughs> oh, but you're so cute. So cute. Hi, I'm Pilu. Hello. 
What's your name? Baby Pie! Baby Pie! Baby Pie! No! I get it! Baby Pie! Kilo, we're off to the scrapyard. Gotta ask Wrench to fix our instruments. Aww. Aww. Who's your little friend here? Baby Pie! <laughs> you must be new in town, right? <laughs> Milady, I can come. I can't leave a poor kitten with no one to play with. <laughs> yes! Let's play. Come on, come on, come on! Remember, steer clear of Granny Penis trophies in the sitting room. And have fun. But don't make a mess. Don't worry, Lampo. Baby Pie and I will be good. And we'll have fun together. <gasps> Baby Pie, where are you? <gasps> Good. Now I'm ready to write my article about the wear cat. But I need absolute silence. Yeah! <laughs> 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 the wear cat. Baby Pie, what are you doing? Come back here right now. Wait, Baby Pie, hold on, hold on. Stop, Baby Pie, come back. <laughs> Hi, I've got a game that's way more fun to play. Hey, where did you go? The squirrel game! Wanna play catch the cat? I'll catch you first. Kissies! Kissies! Where are you? Granny won another trophy at the noodle cook-off. Hello, Kitty. Oh, I see you've made friends with Pilu. Oh. Hey, Kelly, do you want to go to the park? You do? It's such a wonderful day. We're going to have lots of fun together. Hey, Kelly, look who's coming. Hello, Pilu. Where are you off to? Hello, Dr. Fisby. I'm taking Kelly to the park. She's a beautiful doll. Dr. Fisby, would you be so kind as to give Kelly a checkup? Oh, of course, Pilu. I always carry a thermometer with me. Let's see if she has a fever. Hmm. A healthy temperature. Oh. Your baby is absolutely fine. And she's not even using a pacifier. She's very grown up. Thank you, Dr. Fisby. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Pilu. Bye, Kelly. There's cream. I really want an ice cream. Hey. Wait for me here and be good. Here's your ice scone, Pilu. Thanks, Cream. <laughs> Here we go, Hope. Aren't you happy to be at the park? Hope, my love. You're a big girl now, and big girls don't use pacifiers. Huh? <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, fine. But sooner or later, you'll have to give it up. Be good. <laughs> This kitty treat flavor is possum! Let's go back home, Kelly. Hi, Cream! Can I have an ice cream? Here you are, Lola. Thank you. Bye, Cream. Good thing Hope didn't wake up. <gasps> Wait, where's Hope? What a nice walk we had, right, Kelly? <sighs> Now, after all that exercise, I need a nap, too. <sighs> Sleep tight, Kelly. <gasps> I didn't know Kelly could cry. <gasps> Either you turned into a kitten, or I took the bus. Please, Kitty, don't cry. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a clown. Not working. But I gotta find.
find a way to calm her down. Twinkle, twinkle, little kitty. Sleep and you'll be really pretty. I've got a Buffy brainstorm. I'll show her my toys from when I was a baby. Look, do you like it? In here. See anything you like? What did you take, kitty? That pacifier was a gift. But I'd already outgrown them and I never used it. What are you doing? You're too old for pacifiers. Come on, give my pacifier back. Oh, Meatball, thank you for bringing me the mail. You good kitty. I know just how to thank you. Postcards, bills, but no invitation to the City Flower Festival. I was really hoping to go this year. Uh-oh. This envelope is not for me. It was delivered here by accident. Huh. I'll give it to the mailman tomorrow so he can deliver it to the right address. Hey, I can deliver it instead. I'm sure they'll thank me and give me even more cat treats and cuddles. I'm cooking my special paella for tonight. Want to taste, Meatball? Some spice will make it really special. Hm. Yes, Piperita. <laughs> it's really spicy! Too spicy! Need something to drink, Meatball? Delicious. What is it? Super duper crazy triple carbonated orange soda. Hey, I'm trying! <laughs> A long way? I'm tired and hungry already. Oh, my whiskers. A restaurant. I gotta focus. Gotta focus. Smells so good. Yummy. Now that's better. I hope Granny stored some leftovers here in the attic. There's nothing here but lots of dust. Got it. All right, sushi. Oh no! Granny's face powder makes me. <laughs> Hold the cabinet. We don't want anything to break. Oh, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here you are, meatball. <laughs> bon appetit. Dogs may be man's best friend, but chefs are cat's best friends. No question, I'm really hungry for... <gasps> spaghetti and meatballs! Wait a minute, that means danger incoming! <gasps> double danger! Blister, scab, oh no! The double sardines! <gasps> one for me and one for you! <laughs> uh, uh, oh no, come back! <laughs> Blister, Scab, that was my snack. Yeah, and now it's ours. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, give me my sardines. <laughs> That's not fair. Come back. <laughs> I'll get you. <sighs> Bring it on. Bye bye, Meatball. <laughs> oh, I'm so clumsy. Welcome home. Are you okay, Meatball? <gasps> hmm. 
No, I'm not. The opposite of okay. I can't catch a break. I'm nothing but a clumsy cat. Oh, the sadness. I want my sardines back. Ugh. I bumped into Blister and Scab. What did they want? Lampo, they stole my snack. But I couldn't do a thing. I always freeze up and trip over myself around those two. Don't be sad, Meatball. What you need is a nice plate of Granny Pina's noodles. They'll make you super strong. Maybe a plate of noodles isn't what Meatball needs, Lampo. Maybe two plates? <laughs> no. What you need is self-confidence. And I know where to find it. <laughs> Follow me, Buffy Cats. I've got a Buffy brainstorm. Where are we going, milady? We're visiting the only one on Earth who can transform you into a cat who's nimble and brave. Huh? But I am nimble and brave. Look! Lambo! Velo, milady, where are you? Meatball! To a wizard. Don't worry. He is even better, Pilu. He's Kato, my old cat foo master. Cat foo? I haven't seen him in ages. Master Kato doesn't teach anymore. This way. <laughs> Lady, uh, help me. I can't get in. But when he sees how desperate, I mean, how talented you are, how could he say no? <laughs> Here we are. This is his domain. I, I don't like this place. Uh. Apologize for insulting my house, friend. Or you'll regret it in the end. Who's there? Who's talking? <laughs> A talking shadow! <laughs> I'm so clumsy. Meepo! <laughs> Master Cato, we need you. Hmm? Hmm. Be calm, milady. I have ears to hear, and I have been listening. This must be the disciple. What is his talent? Danger sense! Whenever he's hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. Are you ready? There is but one steep way to the secrets of cat food. <gasps> I have to climb up there to learn cat food. <laughs> Look at the positive side. The way back down will be easy and fast. Cat food is the art of agility and speed. Follow my steps. Wow. Use your imagination. <laughs> Unpredictable. Wow. Have courage. Every obstacle is an opportunity to improve. Watch me. Whoa. That was the leap and bounce move. Let's see what you can do. Well, I don't think... You can do it! Okay. Oops, sorry. Have courage. 
the cakes now and reach scab on the giant cake square finally i get to play don't worry boss it's too much cake he'll never make it no. Go, no way now things are getting serious well, Yum Yum Cats, you've come to the final challenge. The first one who eats the giant cake wins. Go, Meatball! Hey. We can still win! <laughs> really good! Oh. I'm just too full! What are you doing, Scab? Eat that cake right now! I eat too much, boss. My belly hurts. I have to do everything myself. Huh? No. Uh, this cake is too big for me, too. <laughs> yum Yum Cat Meatball has eaten all the cake. Hooray! <laughs> all right! Is it? A scuba diving mask? You'll need it for the next treasure hunt because it's going to be underwater! Okay, then I'll try it out right away. Wait, Meatball, where are you going? <laughs> Cat treats! Wait for me! You never change, Meatball. What good is that mask in a sea of cat treats? It's obvious, m'lady. I'm training for the next treasure hunt. Oh. <laughs> I need taste testers. You can count on us, Cream. I mean, me. The Buffy cats are at the ice cream factory? Hmm. Let's see what they're up to. Uh, looks good. But to be sure I like it, I need one more taste. Meatball, are you just looking for a reason to eat all the cake? <laughs> no, Pilu. <clears throat> Truly delicious cream. But to be 100% sure, I should try one more slice. <laughs> Meatball, stop eating all of Cream's cake. Let's go play. But I'm still hungry. What if you could play and eat at the same time? Uh, Buffy Cats, I have an idea. We're gonna play Cat Calls Color. 
It's a possum game where the challengers prove their alertness, speed, and yes, appetite. Huh? I've got appetite covered. Uh, uh, gotcha, ratty cat! Help, Meatball! Meatball! What a catastrophe! Gas is in trouble! The treasure hunt can wait. It's the second flying cat. There's room in my cage for you, too. Gas, grab my paw. <laughs> you can't escape me. You spoke too soon. Bon Bon attack. Cat catcher caught in a trash can. Yes! How exciting! Meatball knocks Birdie down. <laughs> what are you doing, Gas? I'm letting you go on alone. I touched the ground so I can't compete anymore. It's all you now. What did you do that for? You saved me. And even though you can't fly with a wing down, with this balloon, you can win the treasure hunt. <laughs> you deserve it, my furry fellow. Thanks, Gas. My furry fellows, Meatball wins the flying treasure hunt. Yes, you did it, Meatball. Aren't you curious to see the treasure you've won? Of course, Gabby! <laughs> Whoever can eat a whole pan of these super spicy beans wins the second contest. A sheriff's gotta have a stomach of iron. Um. Hey, buddy! Um. You're too slow! No. <laughs> Yeah, go on. I'll give you a whistle when I'm done. Awesome! These beans were super spicy. How did you eat the whole pan? Thanks, Meatball. You roasted my corn. <sighs> Today is so nice. Absolutely, Pilu. Um, the only thing that could make this day better is nothing. Doing nothing. Lots and lots of nothing all day long. Oh, you look tired, kitties. Played a bit too much, have you? Here are some noodles to get your strength back. Yum, yum. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Meatball, you ate it all! Even ours, too! Never heard of our latest game? <laughs> the Noodle Race! The Noodle Race doesn't exist! You just made that up! Well, if it did, I would win it! <laughs> <laughs> Running start! <laughs> Lift off now, Meatball! What did you say? <laughs> What if our aviator took flight from a great height? One, two, three, go! I'm flying! Quick, use the controller! This is fantastic! I'm the first flying cat in history! Meatball! Use the remote control! Meatball, come down, please! Don't worry, with this invention, I'm sure I'll fly! Actually, it's not a bad idea, building momentum from that altitude. 
running start. Ah! I, I can't watch. <laughs> First, cats flying kites. And now, cats flying like kites. That flying gizmo is ingenious. Don't get distracted. The air currents are unpredictable. Come on! Come on! Especially when it includes a picnic. What yummy food did you bring us, milady? Pizza, an omelet, some potato chips. And best of all, cream puffs. <laughs> I love them. Oh, that bird loves them more than you do, Meeple. Well, Meeple, there's still one cream puff left. All right, Pilo. <sighs> Better save it. I'll eat when things have settled down. <laughs> Delicious! Boss scores he'll win the game! <gasps> Go, Meepo! Do your best! The problem is, I'm really hungry. <laughs> oh. Meepo! Think about the cream puff! Huh? <gasps> Time up! Buffy kids win 10 to 8! Woohoo! Right. Yeah! Mipa, you were possum! I've been looking for a restaurant like this for so long! Hey, chef! Could you bring out the food? <laughs> Banana salad? Who made this? <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> An orangutan chef, huh? Well, I'll give it a taste. Hey, uh, uh, not uh, bad as a starter. What's the main course? Uh, 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 feast of roasted fish <laughs> with bananas? I'm curious. Oh, great, but kind of light for an entree. Got any more? Kitty treats with bananas? Huh, I love kitty treats. <laughs> I feel like there's a secret ingredient in your dishes, but I can't figure out what it is. <laughs> wow, banana timbale! <laughs> is there dessert? <laughs> I might be too full for a banana, but I never say no to dessert. Delicious! My compliments to the chef, even though I still can't figure out what your secret ingredient is. <laughs> this is a five kitty treats restaurant. I'll bring all my furry fellows here, and someday I'll discover your secret ingredient. Because I'm Mr. Meatball, the greatest food critic ever. Maybe the secret ingredient is bananas. Huh? Meatball? Oh, it's an invitation to the City Flower Festival. I've always wanted to go. I love flowers, but I've never received an invitation before. Thanks, Meatball. That was so kind of you. You deserve lots of cat treats and cuddles. <laughs> um, cat treats and cuddles. Um, mission accomplished. Hello, my furry fellows. What can I do for you? Hello, Piperita. We're here for a game. Meatball wants to prove he's luckier than Neko. Come in. I've got just the thing for you. Fish croquettes? So tasty. But how is this a game of chance? It says in the box you could find a golden anchor pendant inside. Yes, but only one box out of a hundred. It takes good luck to find it. I'll try. Luck is on my side today. 
Go ahead, Meatball. They're all on the house. It's not in here. Not here either. Not even here. Maybe there is no pendant. I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm actually full. Oh. <laughs> Neko, want some croquettes? I can't eat another bite at the moment. <laughs> oh, were we supposed to find an anchor charm? Yes. Huh? I found it. <gasps> Neko, you lead a charmed life. Huh? <laughs> Don't be sad, Meatball. Neko just had a bit more luck than you. <laughs> okay, but I ate a lot more croquettes than he did. <laughs> Meatball, where were you? I took a walk to help my stomach, but... But he'll settle for snoring! Fuzzy <laughs> 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 uh, cats! Wake up! They call me Lampo. I'm the greatest. Milady, wake up! Milady! What's wrong, Pilu? Meatball is sleepwalking and he's on the way out! he gets himself hurt. Oh, no! He's about to step on that rake, huh? Even when he's asleep. <laughs> Not so fast, Meatball! Ah! Oh. Lampo! Everything okay? Uh, 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 not really. But at least we got Meatball back to bed. My meatballs! What a rude awakening! Why is Dr. Fizby here? Meatball, you were sleepwalking all night. Seriously, milady? Oh, I don't remember anything. Oh. Okay. Meatball has completed oh. digestion. Yeah, oh, but now I'm hungry. Hooray! <laughs> Granny will be back soon. Buffy Cats, let's wait in the garden to welcome her home. <laughs> Kitties! <sighs> Enough! This rake is haunting me. I can't take it anymore. Meow. Huh? Meow. Kitties, I'm back. Are you hungry? Good. Look what Granny brought you. Mountain meatballs. What an appetite, meatball. <laughs> you know how to make Granny happy. <laughs> oh, kitties. Sounds like thunder. It's time to go inside. <laughs> Only 
wants me for complete digestion. <laughs> <laughs> but this is Hope's pacifier. We don't need it anymore. <laughs> Now, Meatball, aren't you a bit old for a pacifier? I never use a pacifier. Dr. Fisby, hmm? do you know a way to get Meatball to take the pacifier out? Mm -hmm. Of course. Leave it to me, Pilu. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking of doing with that super hammer, Dr. Fisby? I just want to make sure you have good reflexes to throw the pacifier once and for all. But, Dr. Fisby, I never use a pacifier. Now we'll see. <laughs> 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 